Every time a new day dawns, Minecraft updates to the next version. I start on Infdev, go through all of Alpha, all of Beta, then every full release till the new 1.19 update. It was so cool to see how Minecraft has progressed over the years and it had some crazy and unexpected effects on my world that I've never seen anyone have before. And here we are in the brand new world. We are not even on alpha at this point. It's infdev 2100 420 and is the earliest version that I can play and not lose my save when I update the game. Crafting is painfully slow. I don't even know if wool is in the game. Okay, I can get wool, but beds are not gonna be in for ages. It'll be beta 1.3 before we see those. Let's craft all my tools. Yeah, I can't shift click, I can't do anything. I've just gotta manually drag. And there's pretty much only one food source in the entire game, pigs. Now there is no hunger in this version, but if I take some fall damage and then eat, you'll see my health goes up. And you also can't stack food. It's very annoying. <laughs> if you ask me, it looks more like steak than pork chops. And what the heck is going on over there? I have no idea why there's so many sheep on here. But it's also free wool. It's also getting dark really, really fast. Which means things are going to be dangerous and I can't see a thing. You guys can't see this, but I've found some coal. I can make a torch. And look at that. Light. I mean, I'm pretty dark and so is the world, but you know what? We can actually see. And this version is so old that even caves do not exist. But it's very dark out there. I can see there's mobs all around. So going mining is probably my safest option and a great way to get lots of coal. We found iron. Okay, perfect. Now this is exactly what we need. A furnace can go in here, which apparently is, is still burning even though I've got nothing in it. And the iron can be smelting. Diamonds on day one. That's got to be the goal. If anybody can do it, it's me. All right, we found lava. That is, that is a good sign. I think the entire higher bottom of the world is lava. And I need to make a new pickaxe. Buckets don't currently exist. What if I just send water all the way- Oh my goodness. Okay, this is not a safe place. I'm just gonna break this. It's almost the next day and we'll be updating. Wow. Water doesn't even flow at this point. That's crazy. And I've got about a minute before the next day begins. Day two and we are on infdev 2100 at 617. And now we have caves, flowing water and lava, and also buckets. And look at that. It's- <laughs> the water has flown down here. Oh my goodness, is that the void? I could- <laughs> I could die. What has happened here to all the lava? It is just completely gone. I can't even crouch. It's just void, guys. Down here is void. <gasps> I'm getting pushed. It is going to take me so long to get out of here. There is also bedrock at the bottom of the world in new chunks, but I'd like to see if I can find a brand new cave. Also, the running animation is, is so strange at this point. And check this out. You can move with the inventory open. Don't ask what these water particles are. They're, they're, they're a little bit strange. And it looks like we're now in brand new chunks. Also, if I'm not mistaken, if, let's mine some sand. If I place it like that, yeah, it just it just goes directly down straight away. It doesn't It doesn't fall. It just goes down. Even gravity is not a thing yet. Well, apart from the gravity that stops me from floating off into the sky. Could it be? My first cave. It's a pretty pathetic one, but it should be marked as the first cave nonetheless. Really hope I don't die trying this. <laughs> Look at that. No need to worry. I can do with finding that cave right about now. And I think I see one in that mountain. Hopefully I can get there before it gets too dark. Here we are. <laughs> yeah, these these caves are rubbish. But let's just go mining again anyway. Underground dirt now. It's amazing how cool it is to see stuff like that. Got some more iron and a brand new pickaxe. And we have found bedrock. Well, at least I know it exists then. Hold on. Another cave. Is obsidian a thing? Yeah, obsidian exists. Yeah, it basically just seems that caves are really, really small at the moment. In the future, they'll get bigger. Much, much bigger. Although this one's a decent sized one and it branches off in two directions. Yeah, this is what Minecraft caves are all about. So it's time to update into day three, which is Infdev 2010-0618. This adds rails, minecarts and falling blocks. And I have finally found some gold. This cave is just so big. And there's a sheep, two sheep, what on earth? I have no idea how they spawned. More free wool though, I suppose. And with all this iron that's smelting, I can craft some all important armor. Looking very nice indeed. Oh, my first creeper. Okay, no need to panic. Now, do these just blow up like normal? Oh my, oh man, there's so many. Oh, oh my goodness, that explosion is terrifying. Will you just get away from me, creeper? Cre sheep, get him, that's it. Sheep, take the hits. I don't want to die at the hands of creepers, but they're coming from everywhere. Got rid of one, got rid of two and three. And now I've got gunpowder. Yeah, Minecraft in these versions is absolutely terrifying. Something tells me getting some iron tools may come in very handy. Whoa, I think you can make an obsidian generator in this version. If only I could find some diamonds. I have to say, there's, a, there's not much room in this cave, is there? I'm sorry, I, I promise that's the last bad joke I'll make. Oh, a spider. Okay, okay, you just walk around the corner and terrify me. You're barely doing any damage, but I cannot hit you. You are so hard. Looks like a pork chop is going to have to be eaten. Looks like steak, but doesn't taste like steak. So let's see what happens if... Oh, we've got that, but if we go and put lava here... 
Yeah, that just makes cobblestones. I don't know how we got obsidian up there. More gold, which is apparently quite rare. Oh my goodness, I was just not paying attention there at all. Well, there goes all my food on <laughs> healing up. Oh my word. I think it's time I got out of this cave. It's a new day and a brand new version. Infdev 2010-0625, which gives us dungeons, spawners, and saddles. Also, I hope I'm going back to spawn, but I have absolutely no idea. And it would make sense that these borders might be what I'm looking for. It's a real shame that I can't craft boats. Instead, I've just got to painfully swim. And finally, here it is. My first ever little mine. And I reckon I should build my house around this mine on the water, using cobblestone as the floor. Well, operation build the floor is complete, and the new day is just starting to begin. And so this is technically alpha version 1.0. Notch called it an inf dev on release but later changed his mind. And it hasn't added much but it has added something very useful. Stairs. That can be placed here and I can walk up it. And my next question, does glass exist? Yes it does indeed. So let's get busy and mine up loads of sand. I think I'd better add some more furnaces too. That walkway is done. Let's add some corner pillars. And are you kidding me? You can't, you can't place logs sideways, what? Oh well, these are still gonna be me beams with stairs. Oh my goodness, wait, you're telling me that stairs only go... What? How on earth could stairs be even remotely useful? Wait, what? So, if I look at this, I have no idea. Stairs just have a complete mind of their own. Different angles... I don't know. I've worked it out. They staircase based on the block behind them. Not confusing at all, but it looks like we've got there in the end. Let's place down some planks and glass. And apparently glass on top has turned all my stairs to cobs. Oh my god, you know what? We give up. I'll build more of my house when the game is updated. Also, look at iron blocks. They look so, so strange. They certainly don't look like that anymore. And whilst the darkness is upon me, I'm going to try more strip mining. Another day has passed. I have got plenty of cobblestone. And we're on alpha 1.0.1. Which was the update that added redstone. So I shall travel out to new chunks in search of this new ore. This looks like a good cave. Could always do with more coal. No, that is not the main thing that I am looking for. Oh well, look, we have finally found some. I know it's not super rare, but I, I thought it would never happen. And at this point in the game, it doesn't have a name. I mean, none of the items have a name, but that, that officially didn't have a name. Let's mine all of them up. Have a little look around for diamonds and then get out of here. And look at this, we have found a dungeon. I don't really know how these work, but I do know that a bit more food might be helpful. Now I can hit their legs and light up the spawner. Look at these saddles. <laughs> I guess they didn't know what to put in there because they didn't have much loot. So uh, yeah, just give me a load of saddles. Thank you very, very much. Bread and wheat is also very, very nice. And I'm going to build a tunnel out of here, because one day that could be a useful XP farm. I've had my uh, very first alpha glitch. Nothing a reload couldn't fix. Oh, wait, it, it, wait, what on earth? Thankfully, I needed to upgrade the world anyway, and it stops that bug. And this is the update that added snow and ice. And it's also the last version to have these stupid water particles around me. There's my home, and I'm going to collect some wood on my way. And now I can continue working on my house. And I can even make an iron door. And if I smelt some cobblestone... Then and I've got a pressure plate, which, which takes three stone, not two. Let's put that right there, that there, and I have a working doorway. I can also take the gold from here, create a block, and put it right above my house. What do you think? I think uh, it looks kind of cool. Now, do double chests exist? Yes, they do. That gives me way more space. And I can also craft brand new armor, because my old ones are broken. And now we're on the version that added snow blocks and snowballs. I'm going to run around, there's now no water particles. My house is now fully connected to the mountain with all the planks that I need as well. I'm going to grab loads of cobblestone and finish these pathways. This is so weird, you can place a block and damage yourself. You can easily place the block on the block you're standing, that's strange. That's this shore reached, and I thought it'd be cool to do a nice little crossroads in the middle. There we go. And just because we're in alpha doesn't mean we can't do some nice decorating. And there we go, it, it's the kind of thing an alpha player would create, but you know what, I, I, I like it. Let's add light along the pathway. And I think this is looking very, very nice indeed. Also, no idea why my house is filled with sheep and pigs. Well, you are going on the menu because I can eat you. Although I didn't drop any pork chops, which is a little bit annoying. I'm waiting for alpha version 1.2 before I add the stairs below here because then they will be fixed. So until then, my walls will have no bottom. And I'm also going to mine up some more wood to add a second layer to my house. And finally, it's getting light again. My house is full of sheep. I don't know why. And with that, we're on 1.0.11, which adds a brand new mob, which I've so far been unable to find. There it is. Cows are now in Minecraft. 
You can't eat them, but you can get leather from them. And you can also milk them. I don't know what the point of milk is. I can't even drink it. I have no idea. In fact, it seems that milk is just stuck in this bucket for life now. I can't I can't do anything about it, can I? I can't throw it out or anything. What a great addition cows are. <laughs> I'll have to wait till I update my game to see that now. But more importantly, we have got so, so much pork chops. And they are all now cooked and ready to go. And something else very cool was added in this update. I better show you a quick before it gets dark. Yes, boats! The very, very slow and flimsy boats that allow me to sail across the seven seas. Hello, little pig. They are the most annoying thing I've ever had to try and control. Let's just very carefully park it here for now. Wait, how do I get out of a boat? I can only guess that jumping me- No, ju what? Out <laughs> I'm stuck in a boat, guys! Wait, I do I break it? Oh, I see. There's me trying to get out of the boat without breaking it, and yet that's the only way to get out of it. That's the top wall now done, and I'm going to place loads of oak planks as a floor. Once again, I'm going to take the risk and try and build some stairs. Although I'm pretty sure I have got the hang of how these work now. And the house is really starting to come together. And now we are on 1.0.14. I forgot to say, in the last update, we also got a better running animation, so we don't, we don't look stupid with my arms flailing. And somewhere out there, we can now get chickens. I worry about that some other time. I'm just going to fill in everything with glass. Which means mining up lots and lots more sand. This update did also add the jukebox and two music discs. But to make a jukebox, I'd need a diamond. So I think it's time I went searching again and tried to find one. I found a decent cave. Let's try and finally find some diamonds. Successfully found lava and a spider. <laughs> gonna have to be a little bit careful. Surely there's got to be diamonds around here. Yes, there is! My first ever diamonds in this world in Alpha Minecraft. This truly is a special moment, and look at it. Oh, there's three of them. Sorry, dandelions, but you are going in the lava to make way for the diamonds. There is four all together. That is perfect. I think I'm going to cook this last pork chop, since I don't want to get taken out and lose all of my stuff in this cave. Let's have that. I don't think I can make any use from that mushroom, so it is going in lava. Oh, look at that. Yes, we have got more. Finally, my diamond look is really turning around. Oh, don't ruin this for me, creeper. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, hold on, don't panic. Okay, you've been training for this. Oh no, no, quick, lock yourself in. <laughs> We're okay. We may be trapped in a small area, but we are okay. Let's make a diamond sword and deal with the three creepers. That's one down. You can go into the lava, that's right. And now I can mine my diamonds in peace. Three of them, beautiful. Oh no, oh no, there's a lot of them now. Get back, creepers. No, you're not doing this, not ruining. Okay, we're okay. Why are creepers so much more terrifying in Alpha? I don't think it helps that they're everywhere. And now we're on the next version, and it adds something I'm very happy about. A sensitivity slider. I can finally turn it down. And the other thing this update's added, crouching. Yes, I can now crouch on the edge of blocks. That is so nice. Whoa, whoa. What? I just heard the crit. I never even saw the crit. I'm on half a half. Right. Right. Panic time. This has been a great mining journey, but I am so, so close to death. And there's a creeper there. Oh my god. My idea is just to mine out. I don't want to go near a single mob. Made it to the water, as long as it's, uh, it's not dark, which it isn't. And so now I've just got to get home as quickly as I can. I have found a pig. Sorry about this, but needs must. He didn't drop any food. The fact that food doesn't stack is what makes this game really, really hard. And there's a spider after me. Okay, can I outrun the spider? That is the question. He got stuck on a tree. That's it. Just keep moving. There's a creeper between me and my house. Not good news. I am here. I am at my house. You know what? Even if I die now, I can get more of my stuff. I don't know how reliable MLGs are, so we're going to gracefully float down, carefully use the stairs, and grab myself oh, some beautiful pork chops. Full health. There we go. That was a relief. Should really get a roof on my house as soon as possible. But now that I'm back, I can add loads of sand to the furnaces to get it smelting. Look at this. I can now speed bridge. Yeah, being able to crouch makes this so, so much easier. The floor is now finished. Oh, hold on a second. Whoa, spider out of the sky as well. This is why we need a roof on my house. Get out of it. As I was saying, the floor is... Oh, are you kidding me? Now it's finished. And I have loads of glass in these furnaces. This really is starting to come together nicely. Although, <laughs> why did I not build the staircase in line with the door? You know what? It's a design feature, not me being an idiot. Now, I do want to grab loads of string. Because if I'm not mistaken, fishing rods were added. But well, there's a twist, okay? They're added. But I think... Yes, we can stack fishing rods. Once I update, I'll no longer be able to do that. So if I could find another spider before it's the next day, then that would be great. But it looks like I'm going to be too late. So we're on version 1.2.0. And brace yourselves for this, guys. Everything's different. Grass isn't quite as bright. And look at the trees. They look completely different. And there were some big things added in this update. And that is that stairs are now fixed. They work like they do now, so whichever way you're facing... The stair does that. I'm just kidding. That's not the big thing this update adds. No, we have now got 
the nether. Although finishing the front of my house is still my priority. Let's also finish adding glass to these walls. Are you kidding me? My house was so close to being done and a stupid creeper's blown it up. Nothing I can't repair though. And there we go. The front of my house is now done. Doesn't get much more alpha than that. Next, I'm going to clear out a bunch of space, craft a flint and steel and grab lots of food. Because yes, it may be going dark, but since the nether has been added, <laughs> we need to check it out. Mission to find a cave has been successful. Now I just need to find some lava. And it looks like mission accomplished. Oh, this is a brilliant place as well. Makes me want to search it all for diamonds. Looks like there's nothing to see. So let's see if we can make a portal. No idea if this is going to work, but there's only one way to find out. You know, some things just never change in Minecraft, do they? Portal building is it's exactly the same. Well, the question is, will it light? Let's do it. Look at that. Built a perfect portal and it doesn't even work. Looks like it's time for plan B, which is make a diamond pickaxe and mine the obsidian up, which takes absolutely ages. I'm sure they sped it up in recent versions. I wonder if I mine a single piece of obsidian, place it back down, just rubbish. I'm going to stop cutting corners and mine all the obsidian up. Cutting corners. Now, maybe that's the problem. Maybe Alpha needs to have every single corner filled in. Come on. <laughs> Why won't you work? And now I'm actually going to get on with the obsidian mining. And that is 14 obsidian. No, it's not 14. Should we think somehow burnt? Now it is 14. Let's get out of here. I've made it out. It's now a new day. And the only new thing of interest in Alpha 1.2.3 is that if I hold F3, I can now see my X, Y, and Z coordinates. That means that I won't keep losing my house. And this is also going to be the last time that we will be on Alpha Minecraft. Minecraft beta will be next. Here we are, home sweet home. And as we said, I, I like this place. Although maybe it's time the gold block was no longer a gold block. This glass was removed and planks with glass there. Yeah, I think that looks better. Gold blocks don't look very crazy anymore, do they? And now where do we build a nether portal? What if we build a staircase below the staircase? Just an idea, but... <laughs> Could be a bit annoying because it's water though. Let's just dig a room behind. Once Minecraft supports wider portals, I'll make the room as wide as the stairs. But for now, we're just going to do this and it had better light. There we go. <laughs> I thought for a second it, uh, it wasn't going to work. Before I go through, might be a good idea for me to just to set up a bit more iron smelting. My goodness, I have a ridiculous amount of glass. I don't know what I'm going to do with it all. And I'm going to craft some brand new armor. Let's chuck all the old stuff into the water. And the new stuff is now on. I also think a nice little glass border around this edge will be helpful. Then I can get to this shore much, much easier. Same on this side. And then I can see what the nether looks like in Alpha Minecraft. I'm really enjoying this journey of actually going through the versions and seeing what Minecraft like. I hope you guys are too. And if you are, then please, 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 could you subscribe? I'm trying to hit 4 million subscribers this year, and it would help me out so, so much if you did. All right, Nether 1.0. Here it is. Ghasts floating about everywhere. And that's pretty much all that's here. I need torches to see, which is not like the nether. Now, will these guys drop me gold? They didn't drop me gold, but they dropped food. Oh, that's so good. All of a sudden, the nether is the best way for me to get food. I don't think I can hit back the gas project. No, I'm just getting ambushed here. Two of them. Oh, there we go. I may hit that one back. All right, let's get them then. Come on then. Yeah, that's right. Whoa, you didn't. You took some damage. What a place this is. Let's go and nip underground. I want to grab a bit of netherrack. There's not even nether quartz. There's no fortress. There's no magma cubes. Laser rods are non-existent. I don't know why anybody would ever want to come here. Except maybe for one thing. Glowstone. I feel like trying to get glowstone could be the biggest suicide mission ever. You never normally get this many gases. Like six of them. Whoa. Okay, we're all right. But well, we're not all right. There's another one there. Thankfully, I got so much food from the pigment. Now, very conveniently, there is some glowstone that I don't need to build up for. Much easier to grab, so let's get that. And it only drops one per block. That's annoying. But I have still got eight pieces, which apparently <laughs> don't even craft. Well, there you go. Other than being an amazing way to get food, the nether is useless. I'm being absolutely hounded by gas. But hey, I've got a lot of food out of this. Don't know how the alpha players survived in such a scary place. Now, let's just try and... I need to play some blocks protect myself in a little bit. There we go. A nice little safe house is right here. Let's go back home. And I can just do a little bit of decoration in here with netherrack like that. And I want it to kind of grow out onto these walls and the floor a little bit as well. Yeah, I like that. Just the way it kind of comes out. Maybe a little bit of cobblestone in here to show the entanglement. Very nice nether portal room. And now that this day has begun, beta 1.0. I do hear a chicken above me somewhere. Oh, no, here you are. You were at it about four days ago, but... Uh, 
first time I've seen you. And if I actually lays an egg in beta 1.0, you can throw it. And the other cool thing that has been added is tooltips. Look at that, I can hover over everything now. Still can't stack food, but yeah, everything will tell me what it's called. So that's a crafting workbench. More importantly, can I now craft glowstone? Still no. Risks my life for nothing. Although it wasn't for nothing because I got so much food out of it, which is now, yep, cooked pork chop. I don't know if this is a bug, but when in a chest, I can't seem to pick up the items on... These bottom two layers, only the top ones, that's that's the strangest thing I've ever seen. So I can move them about in my inventory just fine. I don't know if I'll regret this, but I've decided to go with a classic cobblestone roof. And to make sure I still get plenty of sunlight in, I also want some glass at the top. Although I am now fresh out of sand, so it's time to mine up plenty more. And now we are on beta 1.0 which basically adds nothing. And Operation Complete the Roof is now done. And now I'd like to go on a little bit of an adventure. Since my beautiful house, you know what, that is actually a pretty good house. Considering I didn't have many blocks to choose from in Alpha. And on this adventure, I want to see if I can find one of the new biomes. Also, what did chickens drop? Did they drop anything? They just dropped feathers, okay. These new biomes were added when the nether was added, so we've got the desert and the tundra. And so far, not a lot has been discovered. Hopefully an adventure in the boat will change that. I have to say, this is a much bigger ocean than I expected. But I think I've found what I've been looking for. Yep, it may be getting dark, but I've found the snow. So this is a tundra biome. And just look at it, snow and ice everywhere. All I want to do now is make a brand new shovel and bring back some snow as a souvenir. I can also throw them. That's right, get out of here, pig. Panic. It's only a snowball, don't be like that with me. Used up my shovel and that is snow blocks. Fantastic. And I have discovered another cave. Oh my goodness. That's why you don't dig down. But hey, doesn't matter what version of Alpha I'm in or Vader or whatever. No matter what version you're in, a water bucket will always save you from lava. I need to find a little bit of a cave. And the redstone could be useful. But ideally, more diamonds is what I want. Found some gold, which is also kind of rare. But these really aren't the greatest of caves. This, on the other hand, looks a little... A lot more promising. I was going to say it's a little bit more promising, but look at this. Beautiful. Two, three, make that four diamonds. And it just keeps going. That's five. Beautiful. Five diamonds. That makes me feel okay using up this diamond pickaxe for mining now. It is also the world's smallest cave other than these two lava pools. So now I'm just going to dig my way out. And would you look at this? I've found sugar cane. Although in this version, it is still known as reeds. It can't craft sugar but it can craft paper. And now we're in beta 1.2, which has added a brand new mob. Minecraft is slowly starting to look more and more like the game it is today. But the question is, can I find this new mob? Squids, which for some reason were really hard to find. And you wanna know what the craziest thing about squids is in this version? If I take a bucket, I'm pretty sure that they can be milked. And milk is not permanently stuck in a bucket anymore like it used to be, you just right click and it would empty it out. And so that was my squid adventure. They seem to have all floated to the bottom of the ocean now. I pretty much spent all day looking for a squid. What has my life come to? And get a good look at this night because tomorrow I will have beds. Let me just say that I cannot wait for them. And I think with these diamonds, it's time for my first Diamond armor piece. Yes, we are going to put a helmet on. Looking <laughs> very good indeed. Can't see the front of me, but, but trust me, it looks good, guys. I don't know why I get so many animals in my house. Are they spawning on the grass? Maybe I should just get rid of all of this and put it as cobblestone. And can I just say that double chests, yeah, they, they really look amazing in beta Minecraft. Same for this one too. They're, they're not very seamless, are they? Let's also get this roof sorted so that it is oak planks all the way across. I reckon I should also improve this staircase right here to include stairs going all the way down. Why on earth are you down here? Yeah, you, you're trapped. There's no way you get out of here in one piece now. And I don't mind you being here, but please do not get in the way of me placing stuff down. And there we go. Beautiful. And that nicely brings us to beta 1.3 which adds beds, thank goodness, as well as repeaters and slabs. So since I can now craft a bed, I might as well make two of them and set up some sort of bedroom in this uh, very alpha house. I think I'm going to put them right here. Nice little crafting table on this side. Slabs can now be made. Go around the outside like that and then blocks on top of that. Change my mind. I think I'm just going to put slabs in each corner. Oh, and the tops of furnaces no longer look really weird. <laughs> they look like actual furnaces now, so that's good. There shouldn't even be a furnace there, really. I should be going out into the wilderness, getting myself some leather, and then crafting paper. And I've just realised that back in these days, you didn't even need leather for it. I don't know what the point of leather is. But literally three paper on its own will make you a book. Now, did you used to do bookshelves the way you do it now? Yes, okay. Spent about five minutes working out how to craft those, and apparently sugarcane won't go on grass, uh, on, on sand, sorry. It will go on dirt, though. So I plant this all along here so it can be growing, and the bookshelf can go next to my bed. And now it has been 17 long days since I slept. I can't wait to just get into bed and get a good night's rest. You can only sleep at night. 
What on earth does it look like to you? I've been waiting for this moment for I don't know how long. It is the middle of the night and it will <laughs> let me sleep. What? Whoever implemented beds has really messed up. So you know what? I'm going to make another one and see if I can instead sleep outside under the star. Okay, well, apparently that works fine. Maybe it was a bit obstructed. I don't know. All I do know is that it's morning and we are now on beta 1.4. This is quite a special update because it has added wolves. There is also cookies now, but they're quite hard to get, so we'll, we'll ignore those. So right now, I have just two tasks. Firstly is to try and get a bone, but it's probably the wrong time of day for that. So instead, I'm going to try and track down a wolf. Hang on a minute. Do you remember what that giant pole was there for? I put it there because it leads straight to a dungeon. And that dungeon's gonna be the perfect way for me to collect up lots of bones. Things really are all starting to come together, aren't they? I'll just put some slabs along here for safety and I can get me bones. I'm not quite sure how many bones I'll actually need. I've got four so far. And now that I've got five, if that's not enough, then nothing ever will be. And I don't really want to own the dog that can't be tamed in five bones. So phase one is complete. And now for phase two, track down a wolf. And there we have it, I found one. The very first dog in this world, the very first dog in Minecraft for this version. Come on, don't, don't you dare, you dare. You've got, you had one bone to spare little fella, but you're coming home with me. And what will I name him? I'm gonna name him Alfie, because I've been playing on this world since Alpha. But actually since before Alpha, but that's, <laughs> that's besides the point. I wonder if dyeing the color different colors has been invented yet. Let's make ourselves some orange dye. Can we give you an orange color? No, not yet, but one day maybe. He said I'll just have to dye these random sheep. Do I need- are shears in the game yet? No, you still just punch them and you get the wool, okay? <laughs> that is very unfortunate for you guys. I also don't think sheep can even regrow the- Whoa! Just because I punched them mean you have to attack them, Alfie. Just be nice to poor sheep. That is doubly unfortunate for them guys. Being able to sleep certainly makes life a lot easier. And welcome, Alfie, to your new home. Beta 1.5 adds charged creepers and powered rails. And if you set a pig on fire, it, it should give you cooked food. All of my to do is just burn down a forest. Oh no, this is going wrong. Let's see if you give me cooked food instead. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to quietly walk away. Another thing added in this update, which I could do with right about now, is new weather type. So it can rain, it can snow, and it can thunderstorm, which is how you would get a charged creeper. Another attempt to set a pig on fire. And there we go, the cooked thing worked. I think it's because the last one died to the first bit of fire damage that it didn't drop it. But from now on... We've got it sorted. And in just a few updates, the stronghold and the end are going to be added. So I think I need to start preparing now to be able to go there. Also, Alfie, I, I managed to get you some food. There you go. You're, you're looking a little worse for wear. You sit down there. Now, the biggest thing I'm going to need for this is probably a bow and arrow. The bow can be made, no problem, as well as quite a few arrows. But I could do with more, so I'm going to grab this gravel, place some down, and get mining. Then I can make a load more. And the next task is to go out in search of chickens. I think I'll bring this bed with me as well. Look at this. Chicken spotted ahead. Very sorry, guys, but I need loads of feathers. Got nine more, which is pretty good. And the other thing I want to have sorted before going to the end is full diamond armor. I've got quite a few diamonds to go to get there, but I'm going to do my best. No sign of any proper caves. So instead, I'm just going to dig down and hope for the best. And the best I did get because we're in a cave. Although not a very good one, so I'm digging down further. Found another little water room, but I don't want that. I want diamonds, which I have got. And by the sounds of things, I am currently below a cave. In fact, no, I was right next to it. With lava, okay. I can hear spiders, like, to the side of me, I think. Let's see if we can dig to them. Oh, man, it's a dungeon with loads of spiders to go at. Let's get it fully lit up. And there's not really anything that I want in there. It's not really a good cave that connects either. So I guess I'll just have to continue strip mining. We're also now on beta 1.6.6, where beds explode in the nether, maps are now a thing, as well as trapdoors. This is another promising-looking cave with another diamond. Now, is it just one? Let's get some light on it. Oh, look at this. There's at least... Oh, there's plenty. I think that's another five diamonds in the bag. And let's just keep searching. Since I've got so many, I might as well get myself a chest plate made and then carry on searching. This is beta version 1.7.3, which added pistons and finally shearable sheep. And this is also another prime cave for finding diamonds. And fine diamonds I have. Looks like there's seven here as well. Nope, make that eight. And I can make myself leggings. There we go. I just need some boots and I will be sorted. Oh my goodness, there's literally more diamonds here. I didn't even see these ones. So there's, these are where I got those diamonds. And then across... Where, did I just walk right past these without even looking? Because I, I think I, I don't know how I missed them. Came down here, saw those diamonds, missed these ones. But I'm not complaining. Because I now have full diamond armor. I think I'm ready to get out of here. But a bit more gold can't hurt. A new day begins. I have no idea where I am. But I am very excited for this update, which is beta 1.8.1. First things first. I can put my FOV up, I can turn the brightness up, and by double tapping forwards, I can now sprint. I feel like I'm playing more recent Minecraft now. Also, no idea why all this ice is melting and it is causing loads of lag. That's probably what happens when you start a world in alpha and uh, 
I keep updating it. The XP bar is now also here. Everything in the inventory looks so much different. Villages have also been added, but there's not yet any villagers. I guess that's the same as the fact that they've added a stronghold, but you can't get blaze powder, so no eyes of ender. Yeah, I'll need another update before I'm ready for the end. Look at that, my first desert. And there's a village, which is just as well because I have completely run out of food. This is the first update that they've added hunger, and I, I could die from starvation pretty quick if I don't act now. Haven't seen an animal in ages. Please can villagers have food in this update. They've got wheat, but I don't have that, but I have bone meal. What I mean by that is it's not fully grown. Oh, wait, it is fully grown. Let's get it harvested. Now, quickly craft some bread, heat it, and we are safe. That was a much closer shave than it should have been. The bookshelves... No, they still don't drop. I think grabbing a bunch of food might be wise for me. And then I'm going to attempt to get home. It's times like this that you realise how much better the aquatic update made Minecraft. But finally, I've made it up. There's also Enderman in this update. So once I've found some food, that's what we're going to be going after. Thank goodness that my food is well stocked and they now stack. Let's get them cooking. Let's get these eaten. And let's go out looking for Enderman. Also just got my first ever XP. All these animals over there, even better. Get some pork from you. Pretty sure cows now drop steak and they're not smart enough to walk in the- Oh, they drop loads. This is it. This is this is what I've been waiting for. You get in there, that's it. I don't know how my XP is going down. It's like, it's like the number's missing or something. Oh, and shift click is now a thing. Oh, it's beautiful. And I reckon for finding Enderman, going back to that desert will be my best option. And also if I spam click, I can get loads of leaves. And there we have it, two Endermen. I really hope they're still there by the time I get to them. Oh, it was three. Oh my goodness, right, what do we do? Just go for it. Oh, oh, they're so easy. I have a full inventory, what do I get rid of? Leather, okay, perfect. Let's get rid of you. They don't even have the Enderman sounds, which is crazy. Okay, we got one out of three, that's not bad. We're not even in the desert, is this a swamp? I think it definitely looks like what a swamp would be. It's just like the wrong color, but it's very interesting indeed. Finally, I'm back in this desert, although there is really much of the night left. And now that day 23 has begun, here it is, the first full release of Minecraft. 1.0.0. Why is all this water freezing? I have no idea. That's probably what's causing lag spikes on my game. But yeah, this is the second half of the adventure update. It's added villagers, it's added the end dimension. You can now breed animals, there's nether fortresses. And bizarrely, every bit of water in the world is freezing. Is this what happens when you play Minecraft from Alpha? and go all the way up. So all of this around my house is just gonna be ice, which is, it's kinda cool. But I'm not gonna worry too much about that for now. Instead, my focus is gonna be on finding a fortress. I have to say, this place has probably changed a bit since I was last here, although there's still a million ghasts. But now that I can sprint it, it does make my life a little bit easier. So now I'm just gonna keep my eyes out for a fortress. Look at this, my first magma cube. Because Blaze Rod in this update, you can now make things like fire resistance. And I think that's a fortress. Although it's unfo although unfortunately, it's a bit of a challenge to get across to it. I'll have to go around the long way. So Successfully made it in, and at this point there are no chests anywhere. But what there is, well there's blaze, and I better just not try and set myself on fire. They're also so much easier to deal with because you can spam click. Probably a good idea to grab some nether wart whilst I'm here. And this as well. That way I can grow my own from home. I've found the outside part of the stronghold, so the spawners can't be far. Is this risky? Yeah, maybe a little bit. But I found a throne room. In fact, I found a two throne rooms. The lava's maybe a little bit annoying on this one. No, we can block it up. Although the lava's kind of not really disappearing. So I don't know whether it's worth checking out the other one. Although on the flip side, I've got full diamond armor. So I should probably be all right with these guys. Two blades waiting for me right here. I'm gonna mine out the floor. Just got me loads of blaze spawn. Very nice. If I do something like this, they'll just all run through here. Look at all the blaze over here. This is perfect. At least I think it's perfect. I've got eight blaze rods. I'm going home. I found my portal. Let's get out of here. The sun is now rising on a new day, so we're on version 1.1. I can also go third person and look forward, which is pretty cool. But the weirdest thing is, the sun used to rise that way and set that way, but now it's rising up there and it's, it's setting on that side. I don't know, my world's turned 90 degrees. It's all frozen over. My sugar cane has broken. Updating your world this many versions, is it's just not advised. Hopefully doing this at least solves my sugar cane issue. I don't get why there's a random square of ice missing. But this version has added some magma cubes drop magma cream. I thought they did that in the last version. I was wrong. The poor sheep can finally regrow their wool from eating grass. And apples are now a thing. Yes, trees will now drop apples. This is gonna be interesting. Will there be a stronghold? Okay, stronghold's this way. Still got the eye, which is good. But whether there's a portal room remains to be seen, whether the stronghold actually generates that, I, I don't know. Although I'm pretty sure in this version, the eyes point to the portal room, so maybe it's fine. Time will tell. It's so weird that the entire world has frozen over. And it just seems to randomly stop here. It's bizarre. Or does it stop? It's Oh no, I don't think it does. It's freezing here as well. And that's why this biome is the wrong color, because it's, it's probably some sort of tiger biome or something. Crazy, crazy stuff. But more importantly, oh, we're not far off. Don't break, don't break. It broke. 
could use my powers of estimation and dig down somewhere around here. Go on, I'll dig down just once and see if I'm right. Gonna take a miracle for me to find it. Well, there you go. I got my answer. Now to get serious and prepare for the night, where I'll be going after Enderman. I'm not entirely sure on my strategy. I'm thinking if I just create a load of ladders. Yeah, okay. I've got nowhere near enough wood for this. So plan B, dig a hole, place water at the top, and now I shall search for Enderman. Already I've found two over here and got another pearl. Come on, give me a pearl as well, please. There's always a chance. <gasps> Don't blow it up. Don't blow it up. I got it. I got it. Okay. I'm two for two, which isn't bad at all. Now let's do the strategy of building up really high. I could use a bed at the top and repeatedly die over and over, but I don't really want to do that. And what? This is build high, is it? Wait, what? 1.0, you can barely go any height. 128 is max. I, I didn't even know that. So tower strats aren't really an option. Instead, I'll keep exploring and find as many endermen as I can. And that's pill number three. And I can see at least three Endermen. I'm going to try and look at all of them and learn them all. They, they don't really seem to care if I'm looking at them. Oh, well, this guy cares. I just got to get his mate to. And he just picked up the dirt block off me. And, oh, no. Well, now there's two of them on it. Yeah. You know what? I've got full diamond armor. What am I afraid of? Nothing from the first one. And nothing from you either. It's a lot easier getting them all from a bastion or to, or to trade them from a villager, isn't it? But in this version, I don't have that option. And speaking of versions, we're now on 1.2.1, which adds iron golems, jungles, ocelots, and redstone lamps. Before I worry about any of those, let's properly see where this eye points. And according to my calculations, it's right there. Just to be sure, I'm going to throw one more. Thankfully, that also didn't break. And I shall now craft a new shovel and dig straight down here. I hear Enderman and I hear spiders. I wonder if I can just dig into this cave. I seem to have found it. It's a mine shaft. These are new and... Let me get this Enderman. Look at that, we've got another pearl. I have also successfully found the stronghold, which is right by the mineshaft. Now to get to the portal room. And why there are floating torches, I have no idea. Look at that, found another Ender Pearl. And my first ever apples. I can hear lava, so I'm going to take a gamble and think, see if the portal room is near here. I've come across another part of the stronghold with an Enderman. Okay, that's useful. Sadly, no pearl. But my goodness, they're everywhere. And yet again, I got no pearl. Another pearl and the library. I guess the paper might be useful, but that's about it for now. And I'll also take a bunch of books as well. Now we're on 1.12.2, which just has a load of bug fixes and tweaks. Portal room has finally been discovered, and it already has three eyes in it. I can craft three more eyes. A creeper, don't ruin this for me. So I just need three more ender pearls. I'm sure that won't be too hard at all. I think I'll also get rid of this cave spider spawner. What a shame they don't drop me any XP in this version. And now I can continue digging out. Here we are. Let's mark it with a few blocks. Do MLGs work yet? Ah, maybe they do. Now it's time for me to get busy collecting more... Food. And when the sun sets, I'll be after Enderman as well. Night has fallen, and so I need to find some Enderman. I see one over there. Since I have full diamond armor, I might just go straight in for it. And we got pearl number one. Two more to go. And I see two Endermen. Come on, good sir, don't let me down. Oh yes, we got it. Now can we go three for three? We can! Okay, that is brilliant. And oh my goodness, there's three Endermen over there. Might as well take them out as well. Did get an extra pearl from that, but now I'm just gonna get some sleep. This is another version that didn't really add much. Although if I wanted to, I could saddle and ride a baby pig. Maybe after defeating the Ender Dragon, I'll do that. Here we are back in the stronghold. Let's craft the last three eyes of Ender. Get rid of a few bits of junk. And I think we are ready. Ready to take on the end. We started stuck in a box. What on earth was that? <laughs> Did an Enderman fall in or something? No idea. Unless it was you. Get out of here. That's it. I think it was you flying straight at me, you crazy thing. This might be the hardest end crystal I have ever had to get to. <laughs> this is such a bizarre fight. Like, this is so different in the older versions. The towers aren't in a circle. They're just dotted around. The dragon thinks it can fly at me. I, I could actually use my bed pretty easily to get it as well. I should have brought more beds with me. Arrows don't quite work like they do in the newer versions. I'm just finding it very annoying. You see, I've peppered it with arrows. I don't know why none of them hit. I've just got to make sure if the dragon does try and fly at me, it can't get to me. But almost all the towers have gone as well now. Probably a good idea for me to gracefully float down. See, it's coming now. Can I do this? I did a little bit of damage. Although it's just going to heal for all of the crystals anyway. I've just got two left. That's the last one gone. No, it's not. Wait, I'm wrong. There's one tiny one to go. And now I can start using my arrows. Although it might be better for me to let it swoop in and then I can hit it with my sword. Although that doesn't do much. Let's, let's try use the arrows maybe. So strange doing a battle where there's like no... Sound effects as well. Getting some good hits on it now. And it is now down to half health. But I've only got five arrows left. And that is the last of my arrows used. Now swords are my only option. Snowballs. I'm pretty sure don't snowballs damage it. Should have brought them with me. It's taking a lot of patience, but its health is now so, so low. If it swoops down one more time, it'll be the last thing it ever does. I'm going to try and defeat it with the enderpearl. What? How did I not take it out? I've got one more. Let's try again. Wow. I can't even see the pixel that its health is on. Looks like it's sword time and it is... Defeated! Quite a quiet experience, but look at all the XP we are getting. We're now almost at 100 levels. 
Oh, uh, okay, very close. Let's go and get this egg as well. In fact, we got over 100 now. There must have been some hidden in the end portal. I'll stick a torch under that, break it, and collect it. And we can enjoy the credits, or not really. And that's time nicely, because the new day is just starting. And 1.2.4 adds birch, spruce, and jungle planks, as well as the different types of sandstone. I reckon we take this gold block, put it all the way over here, and then the egg on top. Yeah, that's good decoration. Also, at some point along the lines, I'm pretty sure we can now craft glowstone. Yeah, we can. And I think I'd like to try and get some silk touch. I've got two diamonds. I've got four obsidian. I've got loads of books. So we can easily craft this and it can go over here in my house. Now I need loads of bookshelves, which is going to require loads of wood. So let's go on a tree chopping expedition. I still can't believe my entire house got completely frozen over. It's like the ice age here. And are these jungle leaves? No, they can't be jungle leaves. Let me make some shears and see what they come out as. Okay, they're just leaves, but they look like jungle leaves. Are they giving me a jungle... Is that a... That's a jungle sapling. Wait, why? Why have I got jungle saplings here? This game just keeps getting crazier and crazier. That should be enough wood. And as I understand, getting silk touch in this version is going to be really, really difficult. Because every time I do something, it's going to use up 30 levels. This is going to be very interesting indeed. Let's set something up like that. Put my pickaxe in. 22. Wait, that's not right. Maybe the bookcase setup is a little bit different in this version. Let's try something like this. Level 34. This has got to be good, right? Oh, come on. You're probably wondering why I even want Silk Touch so much. And this poor, poor chicken. Let's get you out of there, buddy. <laughs> you don't want to be trapped under the... Okay, you, you seem to just like... Maybe it's a duck. Oh, it drowned. Never mind. But yeah, all will be revealed very, very soon. And I've got to get this Silk Touch before I get to the 1.3.1 update. Which isn't really that far away. It's also great having such a fast pickaxe now. Makes strip mining much, much faster. This version of efficiency even works on dirt. And Operation Fine Diamonds is complete. Although sadly there's only two. Oh, there's more here. I, how did I not see that? Did I just... I walked on here, covered the lava. I don't know how I didn't see them. Now then, how many have we got here? There's all oh, these a few. This little pocket of cave that I've stripped mine to has turned out to be very, very useful. Oh, okay. Don't burn. Don't don't let them burn now, SP. Not at this crucial moment. Look at that. Hey, I, I was careful there. You know what? These diamonds aren't getting mine just yet. Let's check that all sides are safe. Yeah, I see you. I think we're good now. <laughs> we don't want to lose any diamonds at all. Now with my eight diamonds, let's get out of here. It was a pretty successful mining mission. And 1.2.5... Oh my goodness, that's a jungle. I was just going to say 1.2.5 improves ocelots. And you can shift click items out of a furnace. But I wonder if I make a fishing rod and start collecting up a bunch of fish. I also completely forgot that this is how fish used to look. 11 fish should be enough. Now let's try and find an ocelot. We've got one here. Is that a baby? There's two of them. And this is an adult. Okay. Come on, little kitty cat. You know... You yes, we got one. You come with me. The old one fish wonder returns. We can also get some pork on the way. I've also realized something that's put all my other plans out the window. They removed the ability to get ice with silk touch for a bunch of versions. I've been doing the research and it was only possible to get ice with silk touch in a single snapshot, but that is not possible now. They removed it because of the water in the nether bug. So when I upgrade to 1.3.1, I'll be able to collect ice, but it won't melt to become water in the nether. Welcome to your new home, little kitty cat. I think I'm going to call you Smudge and now I'm going to get some sleep. And version 1.3.1 adds so many features and these include adding emeralds and trading. There's also jungle and desert pyramids. And one of my favourite features ever, not chapels. I'm just here to quickly grab glowstone. Oh, this is beautiful with efficiency. I wish it was still like that in the newer versions. And I can craft four pieces. Let's place these all around the egg. There we go. And now that I can get notch apples, I, I guess I'm going to have to see if I can make a gold farm. So to build a gold farm, I'm going to be going above the bedrock. So that means I'm going to need to go out in search of obsidian and ender pearls. Whilst notch apples are craftable, I really want to be taking advantage of it. I know a place where there's lava at this desert, which will also be a great way for me to find endermen. Here is the lava, and here's the enderman. Which got a bright red this update. No pearl from him. But there is another one right here. Yet again, didn't get a pearl. And my health is looking very, very bad now. So I'm going to try and block myself in here. Turn this lava to be obsidian. And get busy mining it up. I have to say, mining with efficiency is so, so much better. 20 pieces should be enough. And now I'm just going to sit and wait till it's daytime. Because I, I didn't bring a bed. The next day has now begun. Let's just very carefully swim across here. I desperately need food. So I think I'll go fishing. And whilst I'm doing the fishing, I can be cooking the fish. My health is starting to look a little bit better. And there's loads of pigs here. And now I'm going to head down to the stronghold. Cook lots more food than I have been collecting and head back to the end okay is it just me or does the end 
platform look a little different than it did last time. Well, the good news is the end is still looking exactly the same. Now let's anger loads of endermen. Come on, guys. You know you want me. Apparently, they just do not care. You really? You really? Okay, well, that got him. I think I'm just going to go around smacking him. It's just, it's just easier. There we go. We got a pearl. And another one. And that's pearl number three. And now I've got eight. I think I should have enough. I also forgot to say that 1.3.2 basically added nothing. It just made large oak trees have logs that are sideways, not upright. On the branches, that is, not the trunks. And then just a load of bug fixes. And this day introduced a pretty big update. 1.4.2 added withers, beacons, mob heads, as well as anvils, potatoes, carrots. Okay, I didn't get looting three. And on top of that, there's bats, item frames, swamp huts, night vision, invisibility. And we got looting two. Okay, that's, that, that is such a good sword. I don't know if I mentioned anvils, but I can actually combine these if I have an anvil. Not sure I've quite got enough iron for that, though. Although there's another five in here. Hold on a second. I can do something like this and create an anvil. Now, will it be expensive? Oh my goodness, it's very expensive. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad they made it so anvils aren't that ridiculous in newer versions. Definitely, definitely not worth it. And since it's been added today, I reckon we go after the wither. Yeah, no messing about. It might take a while, but we've got looting too now. So I shall attempt to head back towards the fortress. Here is the fortress. Let's start collecting the items for the wither. I've taken on a lot of withers, but we've still not got any heads. And now we're on version 1.14.4. The best thing this has added is that water now stops all fall damage. So MLGs are now a thing. And that is head number one achieved. Day 1.4.5 brings bug fixes. This makes me question why am I now stuck in the floor? And I've managed to get the second one. 1.4.6 brings nether brick slabs, thorns, and using books to upgrade items on an anvil. An upgrade to this version has also made my sound stop. I don't know why. Hopefully it's fixed in the next update. Oh, look at that. We got it. I hope I don't die now just before this crucial time. One and a half. Okay, that's good. I may not be able to hear anything. But well, that's not going to stop me from getting out of here. Here we are, home sweet home. And it's snowing. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> it never used to be able to snow at my house, did it? But since the Ice Age happened, this is what we're living with. Now, do I battle the Wither like this? Is it a risk? Realistically, it's probably quite a big risk. But then again, taking risks is my speciality. So I'm going to get a bunch of arrows and then go for it. Now that apparently MLGs work, so let's test it out. Yeah, they work perfectly. The updates really are making the game better and better. Having a fire aspect sword is also great for getting food now. And the looting just makes it even better. I'm not too confident I'll find any, but before I get head home, I'm just going to try and find some diamonds. My armor's nearly broken. I can repair it with these six diamonds, but being able to make other pieces would also be nice. I am now at the level where diamonds can be found. And you know, since Lapis has been added, and I'm going to need it in a few updates, it was worth mining up. And we have found at least one. No, we found more than one. Oh, that's good. That's that's another five. Might as well keep searching a bit more. And I think picking up the cobblestone will also be useful for my gold farm in the future. And we've stumbled across a mine shaft. Apparently redstone gets you so much XP. Look at that. It skits you loads. What about coal? Is this is that a good XP thing? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's okay. And there's diamonds here. Perfect. I think it's diamonds that probably get you the most. Is it just one? Oh, that would be a shame. Although it's better than none. We've made Made it to level 30. 1.4.7 just had some bug fixes, which includes getting me sound back. I can, I can hear again. Managed to find another dungeon here as well, which is great for getting arrows. And some iron. And you know what? Cocoa beans, I don't have those. I also don't really have any space in my inventory. More lapis here. And what is this? It's a, it's a floating rail. And oh, mine shafts do have chests nowadays. And it looks like bedrock fog exists in this version too. I think up there's my first ever bat. And this looks like another prime cave for finding diamonds. I wonder if these mine shaft chests can actually have diamonds in them. And there we go. Mission accomplished. Diamonds obtained. As much as I'd love to keep searching, I think... Oh yeah, 14. It's got to be enough. Let's just get out of here, and then I can start the battle against the Wither. Found another dungeon on the way out as well, and oh, look at this. Respiration. Nice. At this point, I think the crafting table's got to be the thing to go. And Thorns won, which I... I I'm not going to bother with too much. It's not really that important to me. I'm more bothered about digging my way out of here. Look at all these pigs just waiting for me as I exit. The sun is not far off setting. I, it might be a bit of a risk to take on the wither tonight. Here we are, home sweet home. Loads of items can be shoved into chests. And I can begin work on repairing this armor. Pretty cheap to fully repair it. I can also make some boots plus an iron helmet and repair the pickaxe. I think I'm looking in pretty good shape. Let's go ahead and get some sleep. Now we're on 1.5, the redstone update. This added so many redstone items, including the very useful redstone blocks. There's also comparators, activator rails, hoppers, droppers, daylight sensors. And something which is so, so helpful, you can now drag and go like that. And the thing of going like that is possible, as well as quickly being able to empty and move stuff. It's a very nice update indeed, but that is not my priority today. I've got all the arrows I need for now. I just need to pop to the nether to grab some of this. And I think I'm now ready to take on the wither. Or at least as ready as I'll ever be. I reckon somewhere around here will be a pretty good place for the battle. So let's put them all down and get ready for it. I've no idea how dangerous it's going to be. 
But I, all I do know is I've just got to keep moving and hit it with arrows as much as possible. Getting his health down without getting my health down is, is a real challenge because it regens pretty fast and this bow isn't the most powerful one. I'm so low on health. I should maybe have made some gold apples or something. Look at it, it's regening way faster than I can get its health down. My only chance of success here is to lure it into a cave. This looks like as good as any. Now, will it come inside? Come on, you know you want to. It's kind of drifting in. And now I can reach it with my sword. The battle changes a little bit. Hopefully in my favour. Oh, yes, we've, we've got him now on the ropes. Look at his health so low. You're stuck here now. I'll just take the hits. I've got to get it down. There we go. Half health, nice. It's going to start coming in close. And my sword will do the rest. Come on. This is why we got this amazing sword. It's my health or yours with... <laughs> I think I've got it on the ropes here. Come on, yes, we got it! I was very worried for quite a bit there that I was not going to be successful. But once I relocated and did the battle on my terms, well, that changed everything. Also, all this dirt could be quite useful for my next project, which is why I'm gathering it all up. Why, well, I haven't been hit by very many arrows tonight, have I? I think I'd better get some sleep. 1.5.1 now allows you to combine bugs together, and then there's just a load of bug fixes and performance improvements. Also, I forgot to say, but in the previous update, Nether Quartz was added. So I reckon we go for a bit of an exploration and see if we can find any. No sign of the quartz, but we found another fortress, and it looks like we're in new chunks because there's quartz right here. Wow, it looks so different in the older updates compared to the newer ones. I think the best thing about this is just the sheer amount of XP you get from it. But it's been nice to find some of that, but I think it's now time to get serious and build a gold farm. Put the nether star safely in there, grab as many blocks as I can to go above with, as well as the ender pearls and ladders. In fact, I feel like I'm going to need way more ladders than that. It's a bit better to craft these compared to the last time I tried. I think I'm going to go on a bit of a tree chopping expedition. It's sad to see that there is still sheep just completely trapped. <laughs> yes. Get out of there, come on. They call me the lifesaver, they do. That's enough wood that should hopefully get me enough ladders. 1.5.2 is just a bug fix update. But the real excitement is that we are going to be making our way above the nether. Pretty sure that everything around here is in the correct place. So if I just go ahead and throw this. Yes, now we're above. I'm going to build a portal right here at zero, zero. That way I've got an easy way to get back home. It'll be a few more updates before I'll be able to break bedrock with no problem. And now I'm going to build up a load of blocks and place ladders as I go. This looks like a pretty good spot to me. I'm not going to take any risks. I'm just going to throw an ender pearl to the ground. Then I can place ladders as I climb up. And that gets me all the way to the top. Let's make a nice glass platform. And then to build some platforms going out in every direction. Looks like mobs are already spawning. That's the area fully marked out. Now my next plan is to make some slabs and build a massive platform with them. A border around the edge is complete. Now to make these corners a bit more circular. And that is quite a bit of this complete. It's spawning plenty of pigment, which is a good sign. But I'm just going to carefully drop down here and head back home. And now we're on quite a big update because it's the horse update. Which means I'm going out searching for one very specific thing. Also, somewhere along the updates, I've lost my skin. I'm sure I'll be back shortly. This update did add a bunch of other things like coal blocks and hay bales and mules and donkeys, as well as carpets, hardened clay, leads, and name tags, which is useful because I can now name something Dinnerbone or Grum. And if you don't know what happens when you do that, <laughs> you will shortly. Right now, we're apparently in an extreme hills biome, and to find a horse, I'm looking for a plains. Finally, I found what I'm looking for, and we've got an entire family of donkeys. You don't normally get that many nowadays. Oh, wow, they really packed in the horses on the horse update. There's, there's like four here. There's another three over there. But I fancy taming this horse as my accomplice. He has accepted me. The saddle is on. And he is a great horse. He can join Alfie and Smudge at home. And I'm going to name him Ryder. Even though it's technically me that's the rider of this horse. I have to say, adding the horses is basically adding the best form of travel into Minecraft. Getting around is now so, so much faster. Every time I go past this area, I get the thing, unable to locate sign at 3.20.13.58. I guess it's a bug that's happened from updating my world so much. But <laughs> I really have no idea why it keeps happening. I also think it's great that, that all of the water has turned to ice. It's, it's so useful. It's free high-speed bridges in my world. All right, Ryder, for tonight, you're just going to be sleeping outside. I hope you don't mind. And 1.6.2 didn't add much, except for baby pigmen. I'm also building a nice little side entrance at the edge of my house. A door can go there. And if I craft a couple more, this can be the way that Ryder can get into my house. At least I'm assuming you'll be able to fit through the gap. Moment of truth? Yeah, no problem. It's going to be a couple of days before we get any other interesting new features. So I'm going to continue to be hard at work at the gold farm. It looks kind of cool from the bottom, doesn't it? And a very important thing that I want to get done is gas proofing the entire thing, which is very easy to do with slabs. 
And now that that very important problem is done, let's continue building the platform to be bigger and bigger. Quite a big part of this farm has now been built, so now it's time to update to 1.7. This is 1.7.2, the update that changed the world and broke the textures on beds. And I'm going to be going out in search of all these new biomes. I can't remember them all off by heart, so I'm just going to read them to you. It added mesa, savanna, sunflower plains, roof forest, birch forest, flower forest, tiger, mega tiger, extreme hills, deep ocean. Yeah. Loads and loads of different biomes. I don't know why I've still got Steve. It's a, it's a bit of a strange thing. It also added stained glass and being able to fish puffer fish, salmon and clownfish. It's great having Ryder to cover the land so quickly. And a tiger with no snow in it is a new biome in this update. Also, sorry sheep, but I need the wool. Can you believe it though? We have still not got mutton, by the way. And I just got the achievement of getting wood. Yeah, I've, I have definitely not chopped a tree at all or made a crafting table in all this time. I guess achievements got revamped in this update as well. So whilst there are many, many new biomes added... I'm on the lookout for one very, very specific biome. Birch forests are brand new, by the way. And I think I see it up there. Yes, the roofed forest. You wait there, Ryder. You're probably wondering, why do I want to go to a roofed forest so much? Well, as cool as it is to get the wood, there's something even more special about these trees. That is why I want the saplings. My iron axe is also just broken. I don't really have anything to... Uh, to make another one. Looks like we're going to be rolling things back and making a stone axe. Might not be the greatest thing, but it'll have to do. Also, since it's dark, I think we'll update. 1.7.3 is basically just full of bug fixes. Although they didn't fix the bug of why on earth that there is a cow all the way up here in this tree. Something else I forgot that the 1.7 versions I need a sprint button, so I don't have to, like, double tap to sprint now. I can just hold the sprint button, which is so much nicer. And 12 saplings. Is that going to be enough? I might just try and get a few more. And now that I've got 24 saplings, I should have enough. So I'm going to jump on my horse <laughs> and head back home. 1.7.4 adds chicken jockeys and the Jeb sheep. I'm guessing you probably know what that sheep does. Here we are, home sweet home. I want to grab a bit more glass and also use some iron to make a new axe. Now to grab all this bone meal, and I'm going to head through and attempt to break bedrock <laughs> using a tree. I've made it all the way to the ladder. We're going to end up L first. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I just placed down four saplings, put logs on top of those. Actually, just to be doubly safe, I'm going to actually bone meal these saplings first to grow the tree, and it'll be those that will block the tree so I can go like this. And in theory... We should have broken bedrock. Yes, we have. Magnificent. So have we broken it on all the sides? It looks like we've, we've broken it on most of them. Looks like this side has had a pretty good breakage as well. And in fact, this has broken the very piece of bedrock that I had my original ladder on, which is great. So now I just come up here like this, climb up this ladder. I think I'm just going to burn the rest of this. Yeah, it, it doesn't need to be here. And I'll take all these spare items back home with me. That bedrock breaking glitch was patched in 1.8.1, so I just have to make use of it whilst I can. Whilst I remember, I'm also going to sort out this void at the bottom. You see, thanks to playing an alpha Minecraft, we didn't need to break bedrock. It just never existed in the first place. So we've got a nice, nice little way that we can just look down and see the void below. It's a little bit terrifying as well. But there we have it. That is the void room complete. Pointless, but very, very cool. And with the sun setting, looks like the next update's on the way. 1.7.5, which is a bug fix update. And now I'm going to continue work on this gold farm. Not many updates left and I won't be able to craft not chapels anymore. 1.7.6 added realms and players can now change their usernames. And it's also fixed my skin, which is a... Uh, <laughs> Very nice. And I think that's all the spawning platforms finished. I'm going to place glass above these little bridges to stop ghasts. Now to build the part that will get me all the gold. Although I've come to realise that the pathfinding for pigment is is not good at all. They just all run off and, and the other ones just don't even care. So yeah, they, we're going to have to do make some modifications here. And I'm also going to throw a pearl down there so that I, I don't die for doing this. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to grab a load of sand, set it all off smelting. And then I can begin plan B for the farm. Loads of glass has smelted. 1.7.7 is a bug fix update. And I've worked out how I am now going to do this gold farm. Pigmen are going to drop through a hole right there. And they'll land on a slab in this chamber. Which I'm actually going to make to be one block lower. So they're going to come along here and walk down into this hole. And a trap door is what makes them think they can walk in. And the next thing to be done is to move in these corners. After a few days, I have finished all of my modifications to make it a bit more circular. There's been nothing interesting happening in the updates, but now Realms has been properly added in 1.7.10. The pigmen will fall down here and I'll just use my sword to get the looting. Otherwise, you don't really get the looting effect. And I want to get some bookshelves to be all the way around here so I can make use of the XP. So that means a trip to the stronghold is probably going to be in order. My gold farm also won't work till 1.8 when they change mob AI, so I'm kind of waiting for that as well. I already have 12 bookshelves, so it looks like I am not going 
going to actually need to do a trip anywhere else. Though it is night time again, I should probably get some sleep. And then we'll be in 1.8. This version has added so many new features, including monuments, slime blocks, endermites, rabbits, as well as armor stands and barrier blocks. There really is so, so much. Sheep will also drop mutton, and there's now andesite, granite, and diorite underground. But I'm not worrying about that. I need to try and find a bunch of diamonds. Looks like we've found the brand new chunks, and Minecraft is starting to look more and more familiar all the time. And I reckon right here is a good place to dig down and hopefully find some caves. More lapis is now going to be very useful, and this looks like a good place to explore. 1.8.1 pretty much just added bug fixes, and I found some diamonds. Okay, now how many is it going to be? Looks like it's going to be quite a few. Probably all the diamonds that I actually need. Okay, I want to actually pick them up, please. <laughs> what can I get rid of? Sticks, there we go. But yeah, eight diamonds, that's great. All I'm going to do now is just strip mine back to where my horse is. You never know, I might find a few more diamonds on the way. Stumbled across another cave with a massive ravine. And on my way back, I have found a load more diamonds, and this should be a pretty good place to dig up and out. I've got my horse, let's get out of here. And this version made it so that beacon beams can go through bedrock and fix the glitch where dark oak trees can break bedrock. I think I now have everything I'll need for now. I want to grab the anvil too, though, and craft another one of these. Something's gone on with the portals, and it's, it's moved it across there. Say you update, and you just don't know what's going to break, do you? It really is such a cool view from below, isn't it? All of these can be broken and changed to bookcases. That's all set up nicely, and it's got on breaking, which is exactly what I wanted. I just need a few more levels, which can't be that difficult. Especially with a gold farm that's this good. Just a shame that I've not got any sweeping edge. And that is level 30 achieved, and also the level 30 sword. Already ran out of space down here, but an anvil can go here here and then we're going to combine these to get a bit of repairing going and i'm going to carry on getting xp super super quick time we're up to level 32 and i'm hoping to get some decent yeah sharpness 3 now that is perfect when this sword gets really weak i'm going to combine them to get sharpness 4 and whilst i'm here i might as well add some upgrades to my armor prop 4 and prop 3 is pretty good to me and i've also got enough gold now to craft my very first not chapel very cool indeed and i also should have been making it so i'm collecting up ingots because there's, there's gonna be quite a few of them those boots look so so good 1.8.3 just added more bug fix so I'm just going to carry on collecting golden XP. And that's Notch Apples 2 and 3. Let's just keep going. Made it to level 60 and I've got 4 Notch Apples. This plan really is working perfectly. And I can also start getting really good books as well. I accidentally let my looting sword break like an idiot. But I do have a looting 2 book here. And I'm going to make a Smite 5 sword because I think that's going to be better. So I'll begin by putting these together. And that's now looting 2 Smite 5. I'll combine it with this sword which has Unbreaking on it. So it's Smite 5 looting 2... It's basically going to be much more powerful. I'm also getting loads of gold blocks from this. All that I'm missing is a strength 2 beacon. Nothing much has happened in the last few updates, except I have now got nearly 80 gold blocks and 83 levels. Yeah, all the updates have been bug fixes, but... Still looks pretty buggy if you ask me. And this is also the last update that I can craft and not chapels. I've no idea why my, all my portals unlit themselves, by the way. Thankfully, it's still linked up to the right place. So if I want to craft more not chapels, I'm going to need some apples. That is the only thing stopping me from being successful. I don't know if these are actually proper oak trees that will all give me apples. Because they've been there for so many updates. But this biome looks a little bit better for it. I'm going to chop as many trees as I can, which should hopefully get me lots of apples. So far, I've got three. It has gone dark. My time is quickly running out. I've got two more on the floor here, which means I'm halfway there. There can't be much time left of this day, and I've only got nine. I'm sure if I keep going, I can get one more. The sun is starting to rise. I, I need to start crafting with that. Another nine notch apples created, and I can get one more if I get an apple. Come on. And there we go. We've got one. Who'd have thought that apples would be the limiting factor here? I'm going to quickly craft it. There we go. 14. And we are now on version 1.9. What's the main thing that this changes? Well, now we have to time our attacks. And we've also got an offhand slot, which is, is pretty nice. Didn't even realise I had all that stake in my inventory. I have successfully found my horse. And whilst, yes, combat did completely change in 1.9, the cool thing that it added was end city. So that's with shulkers. Which shulkers is actually short for shell lurkers. I've been reading a lot of wikis, guys. <laughs> There's also igloos out there now. And most importantly, I can get the elytra. So once I've upgraded my bow, and I'll make a quick trip to the gold farm, I can put power five on this bow and also get an efficient C5 Fortune 2 Pickaxe. I also just managed to get Silk Touch, which is nice. We've done with that when I wanted to put water in the nether that, that wasn't actually possible. I'll take all these as well for exploring the end. And I think I'm happy with everything I've got. My horse can stay here. Let's go and get an Elytra. Oh, I forgot. I've got Depth Strider now, so moving in water is so, so much faster. Stronghold has been located. And whilst I'm here, I wouldn't mind getting a few bookcases. That's assuming that I can actually track down the library again. Look at this. There's an actual dungeon inside the Stronghold as well, which is, is kind of cool. Just attached like that. I'll take the bread. And you know what? I'll take the iron because I would like to craft a shield. And I left all my other iron at the gold farm by mistake. But now if we go ahead 
Look at that. We have got an we've got that. A shovel can be made as well. I'm looking pretty well equipped to handle anything. Operation Finder Library is complete. Can't remember if I even looted the chests in here. Probably did. And now I'm actually going to head to the end. But I can't remember if I'm gonna need end crystals to be able to do the battle. Or will an end gateway have automatically opened? Looks like the answer is no, one has not opened. And interestingly, the end portal hasn't actually moved from where I beat the dragon last. As cool as it would be to bring the ender dragon back, I think I'm just gonna place down loads and loads of blocks until I get to the outer islands <laughs> all the way in that direction. Only a thousand blocks to go. Well, I'm still bridging, but we are now on version 1.9.1, .1, which just tweaks armor a little bit and added some bug fixes. And I've still no sign of the <laughs> of any civilization really, except for an enderman. An enderman I apparently managed to make angry. Do you mind? Will you just leave me alone, please, Enderman? Both of you. Oh, my goodness. Don't die like this, SP. We're all right. We're okay. Yeah, you guys don't stand a chance. That's it. Should probably avoid looking at Enderman and just concentrate on bridging. I've also just realized it would have been way more efficient to use cobblestone slabs rather than blocks. That may have wasted a load of blocks, but I'm not going to waste any more. And at long last, I see land. I'm trying to work out, was it faster for me to bridge all the way here? Or should I have just got the end crystals and rebirthed the Ender Dragon? And now the hunt for an end city begins. And after a lot of searching, I see an end city. We're on 1.9.3, which is just another bug fix update. The next update is that as well. Well, but the real question, is there an end ship? Well, it looks like the answer is yes. I think the generation of these end cities are completely different to how they are now. Normally you have a staircase with an archway that leads. Oh, we have got one. Now I'm guessing that you guys do not drop anything like shulker shells, nothing. Shulker shells don't arrive till 1.11. Now do I just go for this? I think I'm just going to bridge for it. Although I have been hit, so I might as well float. Is that another one over there? Yeah, look, it's loading to view. I might be able to get two elytra here. Let's start off by grabbing this dragon head. Pretty sure I'll get an achievement for this because I haven't done any brewing before. No, maybe advancements aren't really in the game at the moment. And here are those beautiful elytra. Let's just get rid of you. Got some iron nice. Got a way better shovel. I'll take that. Got the elytra perfect. And loads more good stuff. Now I am going to equip these and see what we can find. Oh, that's a massive end city. I can't wait to go there. But I think there might be some loot still to be had here. Look at that. The elytra works. This is, this is the first time the elytra... I guess they're in the game. So they might not behave quite as well as they do in Minecraft now. And firework rockets are also useless with the Elytra. Also, apparently there's no more loot here. That's a, that's a real letdown. Well, I might as well take this opportunity and fly away. Hopefully this end city is a bit better. I think this right here is the one that is just full of shulkers. So I might as well skip them out and build to the top. Then I can get straight to the good stuff, which is more gold. Do I, I'll take the b seeds there and new in this update. Blast protection 4. That is not better than that one, but it could be used for repairs. There's another end ship over there, and I think there might be some chests in this one. Look at this, yeah, ender chest as well. This is my first time actually seeing an ender chest. That is a better chest plate. Probably not really good enough, though. I think I'm going to chuck a few things into this ender chest. Now I just need a silk touch pickaxe to pick it up. More loot to be had up here, including the silk touch pickaxe. Alrighty, you know what? I just have to ask... And I'll get what I want. And so much good stuff in here. I'll super cross to this and get the items from here. Then I can take this pickaxe and begin mining the ender chest. Doesn't take too long. There we go. We have got it. Let's try and swoop into here. This is the best end city ever for loot. And it looks like I have just got my first ever bit of mending. So that must have come in this update. Now it's time to get another pair of elytra. And loads of other good loot from this chest. Also, I'll be able to get mending on my chest plate now, thanks to that. This appears to have been a very successful mission. And I, I thought I'd this was I was going back to an end city I've been to. But this is actually yet another end city. Which means even more good stuff. I think for now, the beetroot seeds can stay here. I really need to find an end gateway and go home. I'm just hoping that this version does have random end gateways dotted about. No sign of an end gateway anywhere, but I have managed to find my original bridge, so I suppose I'll use that. I'm quite glad I built this thing. And 1.9.4 was another bug fix update, but don't worry, since 1.10 is right around the corner. There it is up ahead, and this is going to take me home sweet home. Apparently into a void of oblivion because my bed was up. There we go, we're back now. I've got an ender chest to add to my collection, with a head to join the dragon egg, and I have plenty of iron from that to make an anvil here. That'll save me a trip of going all the way to the gold farm, and then I can do loads of upgrades to my tools and armor. That's a mending chest plate, mending leggings, Eventually, there'll be fire aspect on the sword when I can afford it. Efficiency 5, unbreaking 3, mending with fortune 2 on it when I can afford it. And a fortune 3 pickaxe. I have to say, it's been a very, very successful journey. And the sun has set, so let's get to sleep. And now we're at 1.10. The Frostburn update. It adds polar bears, strays, husks, fossils, which means bone blocks as well. There's also magma blocks, nether warp blocks, red nether brick, and endermen can spawn in the nether, which means I might be seeing them at my gold farm. And as you can see, my gold farm works so, so much better now. Apparently auto jumps been added as well. <laughs> I don't think so. That's the sword upgraded to fire aspect. I managed to get loads more levels, but then I realized that I completely forgot to bring any lapis. So I'm going to break this old portal, climb all the way to the top of here, and fly far, far away to 
have brand new chunks. Then I can build a portal. And hopefully easier find all sorts of new things. Now whilst one of the main things I want is lapis, it would be cool to find a village. I've also realised that in 1.9, boats got an update. So now they're actually good. <laughs> and wouldn't it be cool if I could find an ocean monument? They were added in 1.8, but I still haven't had a chance to battle a guardian. You know what? I'm not going to stop sailing the seven seas until I find one. I also do it grabbing a bit of food whilst I'm here. And it's a well-known fact that swamps are just full of pigs. Well, at least they always seem to be when I come to them anyway. And there's more open ocean ahead, so let's carry on exploring. And look at that mission to find a monument has been successful. Now I've got to work out how I'm going to breathe underwater. Once upon a time, weren't torches a thing you could place underwater? And... Okay, so now they, yeah, they do pop off. So they're probably not the smartest. I don't know why I just crafted all my stuff into those. Not to worry, there's a tree up here. Should really make a diamond axe sometime, shouldn't I? With that, I can craft some doors and also pressure plates. And I think... Yeah, maybe pressure plates aren't going to work. But spamming torches will. I've also just remembered why torches are useful now. Pre-1.13, if you get out of the water, your air bubbles instantly reset rather than slowly go up like they do in 1.13. That is why torches give back all your air immediately. I've got me mining fatigue, but let's take on these guys and get the gold. Even though I already have a ridiculous amount of gold. Found a sponge room and elder guardian number one. Now then, what would be better? The bow, which is power five and must be doing a decent amount of damage. I'm just kind of ducking and weaving. Oh, low on that. Oh, we just got it all the way back. You know what? The old versions underwater is so much easier. And I reckon now I can go in with the sword. Yeah, no problem. Okay, we just got to time those hits. And we took out Elder Guardian number one. Let's just try and avoid all these little guardians. This is the gold room, but I've still got two more of these guys to take on first. I think just going in with my sword is actually the easiest thing. There we go. I'm still looking pretty good. Let's try and find a way up to the final one. Is this the way? Apparently, no, it's, it's not. I should probably learn to look up more. The entrance is literally here, and it goes straight up to the Elder Guardian. Let's deal with the final one. There we go. All defeated. And in just a couple of minutes, I'll be able to mine up all of the gold in here. And now it has run out. So let's take all the gold. And the next day has begun, which means we are on... The exploration update. This added observers, shulker boxes, llamas, and the curses of vanishing and also binding. Plus, it added something very, very big, woodland mansions. Yes, that means we can now get totems, so we're, we're going after them. I'll also have any chance of finding one. I'm really going to need a cartographer. And I'm going to need a village. We haven't actually seen a villager this entire video. And that's something I definitely want to fix. And in the next update, I'll be able to use fireworks with elytra, which will make life so, so much easier. I guess that means I should start collecting sugarcane now so that I have lots of paper for when I need it. And very conveniently, swamps are the best place for that. Look at that, my first ever swamp hut. The night will all be about hunting for creepers. Okay, that, well, well, not like that. Hunting for them and actually getting the gunpowder. The night is almost over and I've got nearly 40 gunpowder. I think with this final creeper, yeah, I've got more. And now we're on the update that added iron nuggets, sweeping edge for swords, and being able to fly with firework rockets and elytra. Have I got enough space for all this? I have. Let's put these elytra on and I can fly. Okay, this is so, so much better. I'll be able to cover so much more of the land and surely find a village. And there we have it, my first village. And he's got a blacksmith. Anything good in the blacksmith? Uh, you know, it's not the worst. More importantly, what kind of villagers have we got here? Aha, a cleric. Exactly what I wanted. I want to give you all of this, mate. Yeah, it's, today is, is your lucky day, mate, because I do not want this. Only four animals. I mean, I could get him loads more, but now, do we have a cartographer? That's a fisherman, a Fletcher, fisherman. Not looking promising. Another Fletcher. I just realized the cartographer is the one that's wearing the white jacket in this version. So yeah, there's none there, but... What have we got over here? Another village? No, I, I don't know why I thought that was a village. <laughs> but I'm sure I can find what I'm looking for. So my lighter's nearly broken, but I remembered that it's so easy to repair them in this version. I'm just going to have to craft an anvil and then just add leather. Very, very easy indeed. Here is village number two. Don't let me down, I want a cartographer. And apparently once again, I had no success. The village and pillage update really did make life much, much easier. My first desert pyramid. And there's a village in the distance and it's a big one. I would say I hope I find a not chapel, but I, you know, I could craft those not so long ago, so it's... Not really the same now. All the gunpowder is going to be very useful though. For when I want to make even more firework rockets. And I think I'm going to try and sleep before I go to the village. Just so that they don't get completely terrorised. And now we're in 1.11.2. The bug fix update. Yeah, all they did was just fix some bugs. I'm more bothered as to whether or not you are a car truck. No, you're a librarian. That's not what I wanted. Hopefully there's more of him. So far, no joy. But loads of iron here. Okay, we've got one. All right. <laughs> right on the outskirts, mate. I was just ready to fly off and here you were. So it seems you want some paper, good sir. Well, if it's paper you want, it is paper you shall get. Next, you want a compass. All right, mate. You know what? You just sit in a boat. 
Don't worry about a thing. I feel like a compass is just so much effort because I'm going to have to go and get some redstone. Oh, well, I'll just dig down and see what happens. We're at the right level for it. I'm sure it won't... Well, I was going to say, I'm sure it won't be hard to find. Well, there's my answer. It is not hard to find. It's everywhere. And we've got a fortune three pickaxe. You know what? If I could find some diamonds, that would be perfect. Because even one diamond ore could get me... As well, there we go. <laughs> not having that guy spoil my day. Oh, look at that. Look how many diamonds. Seven diamonds? All of a sudden, I'm quite happy that that cartographer sent me down here. Oh, there's... No, there's not more. I was getting a little overexcited there, but the lapis is also going to be useful because I, I seem to have run out of lapis and that's one of the reasons I came out here. This is actually a mega, mega big cave with more diamonds right here. This time I'm going to be a little bit more careful, hopefully not to... There we go, we're fine. I was worried about lava, but I don't know why I was. And with that, I should probably get back to the cartographer. He's going to be wondering where I am. After mining this lapis, of course. As you wish, good sir. A compass. That gives me an extra emerald. Might as well turn this lapis into blocks. Now you want seven emeralds for an empty map. My goodness, this is daylight robbery. But there you go. All right, I'll accept it and throw it away. But hey, it's all worth it because we can get an ocean explorer map. Who wants that? A woodland explorer map. Yes, that's what I want. I think it makes sense for me to just make a bunch of compasses and sell seven of them to him. But I still need another ten emeralds. Not to worry though, I have a plan. It's a pretty short journey for me to just fly home. And it is kind of cool to fly over this area which once had no snow at all. It was just green grass and trees. It's... It's so weird how it looks like it was always snowy now. Anyway, then I can grab some emeralds from here. Okay, we've got a few. I was kind of banking on having more than that. But I reckon if I take all of this, I should have enough items to trade. And my goal tonight is to try and find an enderman. Well, that didn't take long. He's, he's literally right here. Although he has now completely disappeared from sight. Well, there's another one over here. And I managed to get two ender pearls. I was looking for one of you guys. Anyway, I'm going to sleep underneath you. Well, well I get... Well, yeah, you're kind of messing me up a little bit. So you've, you've got to go. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the world of colour update. We've got concrete. We've got glazed terracotta. The colours of wool looks better. You can have different coloured beds. So I'm going to be crafting some new ones. Oh, look, we've got the old recipe book now, which is nice. Make me eye of ender and... Also make an ender chest. I'm going to have orange beds like this. You know, you got to take advantage of it. And now to hurry up and get back to that village. All right, village, I'm back. You good, sir, are going to get loads and loads of this. And I can give the rest of it to this guy. Actually, I'm just giving it to the same guy. When he upgrades, it resets his trades. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you, good sir. Now to give you a load of emeralds and a compass. And we have the woodland explorer map. I'm going to be kind to you and, and let you get out of the boat now, mate. Let's gather up all of my stuff. And the map is saying go in that direction, which is pretty good. Although before I leave, I do want to grab a little bit more obsidian. And that way I can make a second spare ender chest. Now, before I am ready for a mansion, I'm going to grab all of this lapis and go back to the gold farm. And the fact that I can fly up here makes life so, so much better. An ender chest can be added here. And then I can get the farm activated. I'm going to finally craft myself a diamond axe. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still using a stone one. Another sword that I hope to get sweeping edge on. Although looting three, I, I can't say no to that. The next question is, will I be able to afford upgrading this? Ah, that's expensive. Hey, thorns two, I can't say no to that. Nice to get unbreaking two, which is good. If I get to level 30, this diamond sword can get sweeping edge. And that is now a sword which is more or less maxed out. I've got unbreaking three for the elytra. And prop four on these two bits of armor. I also spent so much time doing all of that that it is, it is now night time. Um, so we're going to be going to sleep. I managed to get another Unbreaking 3 book. I've got a Silk Touch book pickaxe sorted out. Everything's looking good. That's two Unbreaking 3 Elytra. Let's get some sleep and get ready for the aquatic update. I'm also going to grab this efficiency. Add that to my pickaxe. Now that is also efficiency 5. And I'm going to fly off in search of this woodland mansion. Also, yeah, 1.13. I'm pretty sure this is the update that kind of made Minecraft start to be more popular again. It completely transformed the ocean with things like kelp and seagrass and dolphins and turtles and drowned. And then let's not forget about the shipwrecks and the ocean ruins and the fact that you can now swim. And best of all, that mob we all voted for. Yes, the phantom that that nobody likes. All in all though, the aquatic update was a fantastic one. Kind of wish I had more arrows. I think as soon as we get to the village and pillage update, I will be splashing out on some. Oh yeah, this update added coral reefs as well. Yeah, there's loads of new ocean biomes. I see the mansion coming into view. Now I just need to try and find the entrance, which looks like I've done successfully. Let's put a chest plate on and go straight for the good stuff, which is upstairs. Yes, I am talking about the evokers. These guys are pretty straightforward with a bow. Yeah, I think they made them a bit harder because they suddenly run super fast in newer updates, but this is way too easy. My first totem has been achieved. And this is going so well, I, I think I might get some sleep. 
Although apparently it's, it's not quite night time yet, so never mind. We can go even further upstairs. Now, is there, hang on, is there a secret chest around here? No, there isn't. I, I don't know why I thought there might be. Here is Evoker number two. I'm going to try and... Okay, maybe I'll just be a little bit more careful. That is you dealt with the other guy as well. We've got his totem. I shall carry on going around. Doesn't seem to be any more Evokers at the top of the building. So let's try going down a level. Look at that there. There's one over in that corner. It's very easy just to use the bow. Creeper, don't... Ru well, wow, look what you've done to their house. Although I suppose it's worse. Although I suppose it's worse that I'm the one going in and murdering them. It's just insult to injury at this point. And oh my goodness. Is that what I think it is? Four creepers all having a match in the boxing ring. Anyway, I want to see what is in this chest. Hey, some good powder and my first name tags. Yeah, that's not bad. Reckon I could get some good usage out of that. Now then, let's try and take out some creepers. Because gunpowder for firework rockets will always be useful. There we go. Okay, just you to get rid of. Got 18 gunpowder from this whole... <laughs> time in this mansion. And now, have I missed any evokers? Oh, it looks like I have, and he's come out into the hallway. I did not expect that. But you know what? I'm just gonna go in. All guns blazing. See, now he's running fast. I haven't seen this speed from you in a while, mate. There we go, you missed. Oh, you get out of here. And that is mission accomplished. I have got four totems from this. Now it's definitely night time, and it's raining. Let's get some sleep. Sleeping in their house as well. Murder them, grief it, and sleep in their own house. But we're now on 1.13.1, which made it so fish drop bone meal, and it also added dead coral. I've got everything I needed from those guys, so hi, I'm heading home. Look at this, there's a shipwreck here, looks interesting. We've got a buried treasure map, you know what, the paper's probably worth grabbing as well. And what treasure do we have here? Oh, look at this. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, I, I mean, I was hoping for diamonds, but we'll take it. Now then, where does this treasure map lead? Okay, apparently we're miles away, but southwest is the answer. Okay, we weren't quite as far away as I first thought. We need to go to 9-9 in the chunk, and oh, okay, now this is more like it. Loot galore, even some diamonds. Part of the sea is nice. I, I think I might... Am I going to leave the fish? No, no, no. Let's take the fish as well. And the TNT. Yeah, I, I don't see why I wouldn't just take everything. Well, that is all very useful stuff indeed. Don't know if I have much of a chance to find some Nautilus shells. They, they are a bit of a nightmare to get. What on earth is this? It's like the weirdest ravine I've ever seen. Like, it is a ravine, but... It's like... What on earth? You get some very broken things in these worlds. And I've also just realised that I've been flying in the opposite direction of my house all this time, so I'd, <laughs> I'd better get travelling again. Here we are, home sweet home. And I never realised that the totems looked so different back then. Like, they, they look terrible compared to how they look now. It's it's weird, isn't it? Well, we're going to drop off a bunch of stuff. And I think it would be cool to make a beacon. I've got the nether star. I just need obsidian and glass. And whilst I'm out and about, I might try and find something that was added in 1.12. It's gonna require some seeds to get it. I reckon 10 should probably be enough. What am I looking for? Well, yes, you guessed it. I'm trying to find a parrot. Also, 1.13.2 didn't change much except for a load of performance improvements. So my game should be running even more smoothly now. And is that what I think it is? Oh, wow, look, there's two of them. Okay, what do I prefer, blue or green? Oh, I can't bring you both. Right, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna alternate seeds, all right? You go first. No. All right, no. No, don't both be like this. One of you, I, just just do it, one of you. Stop it. This is like roulette with parrots, okay? You've only got three seeds left. If one, of you, one of you have got to accept it. There we go, all right. You accepted it. Oh, but if this one accepts it, they both did it after five, so I'm going to give them a chance. Did you Did you accept? No, you didn't. Okay, well, you, you don't deserve to come home. You little fella, you can, though. Getting parrots back is notoriously difficult, but thankfully, it's not that far from my home. Sometimes they teleport, sometimes they don't. Looks like this time they didn't. Oh, and then you just suddenly randomly did. Okay. Looks like riding on my shoulder is the way we're going to be doing this. And the fact that the world has kind of frozen over does make this a lot easier. I reckon my best bet is just to mine straight through. There we go. <laughs> we're not jumping. And it's been a bit of a journey, but I'd like to welcome you to your new home. I yeah, can come upstairs. <laughs> it's like you barking like a dog. Will you stop stop imitating my dog? And why are you flying over there? All right, well, you can you can sit next to Alpha. You seem to like him. You seem to think you're a dog. And let's go ahead and do something to these name tags. You can finally have a name tag, Alfie. You know, you've been here since the beginning. We should call her even always orange. I don't think I ever died at orange. And you, little parrot, shall be called in a bone. <laughs> what the heck? I have never seen an upside-down parrot before. They are the most bizarre thing I have ever seen. <laughs> Look at you look like a fly on the roof. It's like gravity's gone wrong. I've never seen an upside down flying parrot But I'm glad I had this experience now. Are you upside down on my shoulder or are you are you okay? Let's have a look. Oh, so on my shoulder Absolutely no problem, but as soon as you get down yeah, <laughs> You look crazy. Well, let's just sit you on the ground there. There you go. You, well, you're not really on the ground But you 
You don't look so comfortable. But I am now going to actually remember to get the obsidian that I completely forgot to get. And the best way will probably be to take a bit more from here. Now, have I got enough here? Looks like I've only got two pieces, which is a bit of a shame. But not the end of the world. The third piece can be got from this corner. If I just take a bit of nether, I can... Put it right there. No, nobody will ever know. Now then, let's also mine up a few pieces of sand. Use this little side door because I, I never seem to use it. And get them smelting. Whilst I'm waiting for that, I can begin to build the beacon. I reckon right here is probably a good spot for it. I'm not sure if I'll have enough blocks for a 7x7 seven seven one, but we'll, we'll give it a go. And also enjoy your last look at these textures because in the next update, everything is going to change. So yeah, gold blocks will not be looking like this for much longer. And unfortunately, it looks like we are about four blocks short. The glass has finished melting though have i got everything i need now the answer is yes yes i have we have got a beacon i'm going to harvest a bit more of this sugar cane since i'll be needing it for firework rockets in the not too distant future let's also go to sleep in my nice new orange beds and get ready for the the first thing you're probably going to notice yep everything looks completely different you have to say the textures have definitely changed for the better but it, it just makes everything look so much updated even the ice looks better i just feel like i'm I'm playing a newer version of Minecraft. Wait, I guess I am playing a newer version of Minecraft. <laughs> nice one, SP. I should just probably shut up and go to the nether. Which also looks incredibly, incredibly different. After playing the old versions for a week, I'm more used to them <laughs> than the latest stuff. But yeah, 1.14. What a great update. Not only did it add villagers and pillagers, but it's also all the job site blocks that came with that. The new textures, as we've already seen. The wandering trader. Also pandas, bamboo, and scaffolding. That's five blocks of gold. That's going to be enough. Let's get this beacon finished. All of this is going to be useful for trading, I'm thinking. And let's place down four extra blocks. Add a beacon. And let's put some iron in there. And I think I'm going to give myself speed. Yeah, why not? I would need another 81 blocks to make that bigger, which is like nearly double it. So I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. But I think for my next task, the goal has got to be find a pillager outpost. And I think I'll bring a few extra items just in case I want to do some trading as well. Which includes all of this. Don't know how easy it's going to be to find one of these, but, but right now we're definitely in the wrong biome. Although not anymore, this has a bit more promise. Ultimately, I suppose outposts are pretty difficult to find, but I like to are probably my best chance. Well, not quite what I was looking for, but a brand new village is here. Looks like it's <laughs> missing a few. <laughs> it looks a bit strange, but hey, there's a sheep in that house. Bet you don't know how I knew that. Why is there a sheep in it? That's more to the question. Why is there a dead sheep here? So many questions, I'm not going to wait for an answer. I reckon I should just kidnap a villager. Oh, oh, you got away. You won't get away the second time, though. You just stay there. Next, I'm going to grab a bunch of wood, create a bookcase and a lectern. And then tomorrow, I'll be attempting to get mending. This update kind of tweaked how villages look. And here's the thing I bet you didn't know about. If I press F3 and escape, you can pause without the pause menu coming up. I, I, I'd only recently found out you can even do that in Minecraft. Anyway, enough marveling at these things. Also want to make a brewing stand. Hopefully, you get a job there we go and let's just trade you loads of this i'm not sure if this is the version where you can infinitely restock them i know in 1.14.4 you can so i'd have to wait a little bit longer if i want to do more of that more importantly let's get into this hole and start trying to get some trades from you if you're wondering what i'm going for mending is the only answer i forgot how much i hate doing this and there we go we've got it 38 emeralds that's every emerald i own for one mending book you drive a hard bargain sir but I can't say no. Although, because of your extortionate prices, I'm, I'm afraid you're, you're going to have to stay. Oh, I'm, I'm stuck as well now, but you're staying in here. Let's sell more of this to you. you know, it would have been smart to actually put the mending on me Elytra first, but you know what? Let's just put them on these brand new ones instead. Yeah, all the XP I got from selling stuff to that guy just completely went nowhere, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to keep looking for a pillager outpost. Don't know what I expect to find in these nowadays. But when you see a desert pyramid, you, you can't just say, you can't say no, basically. And actually, the gunpowder and the golden apples are all very useful. I think the TNT is probably going to be handy as well. Because soon, ancient debris will be being added to the game. And TNT comes in very handy for finding that. 1.14.2.3 and 0.4 are all just bug fixes and have a few tweaks. And there's still no sign of an outpost. I think this has been in for a lot of versions. I'm not sure exactly when it was added. Wait, I think it's somewhere on my notes. I'll find it. So it was added in 1.0, the first official release of Minecraft. Yes, the Mushroom Biome. Pretty rare. This is the first time I've seen one. I can find one of these very rare things, but not a stupid outpost. And finally, an outpost has been spotted. I don't remember them ever having good loot, but you never know. Well, yeah, you do know. More importantly, <laughs> I want a pillager captain. Don't see any at the moment, so I'm just going to fly up and, like, respawn all the mobs if that makes sense now there's absolutely loads of them any captains apparently no somehow in all of these there isn't one let's try that again it's starting to make me wonder if there's actually any captains in this oh yep there is we finally found one let's get you there we go 
I'm on voluntary exile. Also check out this pyramid whilst I'm in the area. Another golden apple, very nice. Nothing else by the, oh, you know what, a bit of gold. And a flame book, you know what, I'll take that. Might even be wise to try and get an infinity bow before I do a raid. Oh, we'll see, we'll see what happens, eh? Also launch yourself with your elytra is, is not as easy as it is in newer versions. Yeah, I reckon my best option is to fly home, get a bow with infinity on it, and then I should be 100% ready to take on a raid. Here we are, home sweet home, and let's update to the next version. Now this is the final version where you can get OP protection upgrades on your armor that shouldn't be allowed. I think I'm gonna put this banner above my door and then head back to the gold farm. I'm gonna get as much XP as I can, get different types of protection books, I just realized this was fixed in 1.14. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was, it was 1.14 that it was in, but 1.14.4 it was. Yeah, I'm, I'm a slight idiot, guys. I'll just add flame to my bow. Chuck all of these useless things in here. And next, I want a bit more string. So I found a decent amount in another chest. So I'm going to make some bows. And I can hopefully get an infinity bow. All three of them turned out to be terrible. So I'll just repair my main one. Grab some emeralds. And also get some flint for a fletching table if we eventually get it. Now to get some sleep. And this is the update that I did bees, beehives, and, and everything with it. But I'm not going to be bothering with them today. I've, I've got a raid to do. This village can be the victim. I'm also going to use a fletching table, which should, in theory, if, if somebody comes to it... Yes. Oh, it started a raid. Don't panic, mate. I want to buy some arrows, please. Oh, no. Come back. Oh, it stopped the raid. Wait. Wait, what? You're joking me. Because this isn't a village anymore because I, I took away a job site block. It stopped the raid. I can buy the arrows... But I don't think we've got a raid coming anymore. Don't think I'm letting you off the hook that easy. I'll, I'll go and get it again. Just give me a moment to fly over there. And on my way to the previous outpost, I've, I've found another one. With a crossbow. Very nice. Although I've got a power 5 bow, so it's, it's kind of useless. Now let's take out you, preferably without getting pinged to death. Oh my goodness, I went down to half a heart. But I see my victim. There we go, we got him. And I think I'm going to be kind to that original village that I was going to get. Oh my goodness, I'm a pincushion. I have flown over a load of villages on the way. So if I come across them again, I'll just do a raid at one of them. Oh, here's one now. Looks like you are going to be the uh, the candidates for this. The raid is beginning. Raiders remain in one. What? Let me ring the bell. There seems to be someone already in the vicinity. Hope you don't mind. I'm just going to take this bell. Yeah, it looks like you got rid of something, Gollum, but uh, <laughs> the next wave is beginning. Or should I say the first wave is beginning. And here they are. All right, I've got my bow ready. You guys don't stand a chance. I think using my bow is actually the smartest way as well, because my sword, because it, it's got smite, it's probably not the best for this, but... Oh, it still does the job. Wave two is starting. Do, do I have time to sleep and upgrade? I'm sure I do. I'm just going to sleep in your bed, mate. D don't worry about it. And 1.50.1 was just really a bug fix update that had some performance improvements as well. So me and this golem are just going to focus on dealing with these guys. That's it. Get him. I'm sorry, golem. I didn't mean to hit you. No, 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 no. No, don't be angry at me now. We're in a stick. <laughs> Get him does not bode well. The golem is now against me. And to make sure that the, the, the pillagers never win, I'm gonna... Okay, there's a golem here. Now we're good. I'm gonna block you guys in so that they can never get to you. Are we cool now, golem? Are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. What are you guys doing in here? Whoa, what's going on? Get out of here. Yeah, that's right. Somebody was in here before, even from murderers. Why are you guys running? What's wrong with you? I'm, I'm not that scary, am I? They were just chilling. Here he is. Ravager boy has arrived. He's coming at me at some pace. Gollum, this would be a good time for you to help. Although he is pretty weak already. There we go. Defeated. All right, you guys, you're just going to get this treatment. Pretty straightforward wave. No ravages on this one, so it shouldn't be a problem at all. What's that? You guys want to go down here as well? No problem whatsoever. It's safe in there. That golem just does not care. He's miles away. You're hiding in the cave. Good idea. And that is another wave down. And the good news is I've still got loads of arrows left. And the golem's actually doing something this time. There we go. Now, is there an evoker somewhere? My guess is that the golem <laughs> took him out one way or another. I don't know where, though. Aha! Found it. There's the totem. Might as well grab that. There's another evoker. I mean, look at the speed. You can see the difference compared to when I went to the Woodland Mansion. Now, like, now he's so, so much faster. Apart from when he's asked to stand still. And that is his weak point. Now all these guys are stopping me from getting over there. But I'm going back in because I want that totem. Not many waves left now. But from what I remember, this one is quite a big... Actually, has it changed a little bit? No, I think this is the same as it's always been. Maybe there's just more evokers at the moment. I can see myself using a totem at this rate. I've got to be careful. There we go. Ravager gone. That makes life so, so much easier. Oh, and there goes the totem. <laughs> I don't know why I, uh, I had that. It was, um... Okay, quick, get another totem in. All these stupid vexes, but I wasn't even paying attention with them. I didn't even know there's a blacksmith here. Although completely useless, so we'll leave it behind. I feel like you guys know that there's someone down here, but you'll never find them. They don't even know where I am. Look at them. They just don't have a... Okay, wait, they're coming outside. Leave the poor villagers alone. I'm sleeping, and there is a ravager coming right towards me. We're now on version 1.15.2, but I don't have time to tell you about that yet. I can't believe I couldn't find you. I was looking everywhere for a, a, the last two raiders, and it was a giant ravager of all things. But there... No, not there we go. Come on, mate. You've, how are you still alive? There we go. Uh, job done. 
And we are the hero of the village. It's all right, guys. It's now safe to come out. Yes, you are the only survivors here. I know you didn't like going in that hole, but it, it did save your life. And now after leaving a trail of destruction, I'm out of here. 1.15.2 pretty much just did a load of tweaks. It changed the way mobs worked and like where bees nests spawn and stuff like that. And I think getting some honey has got to be my next goal. So to do that, I'm just kind of searching for a bees nest. And then I'll use my silk touch pickaxe to take it home. Finally, I've spotted some bees. Now, <laughs> where is your home, guys? Here it is, right. I've just got to let them get into it then. Look, babe, there's, there's, a, there's a flower right here. Come and get this one. I'm luring it home. Have a, have, have a ball. There you go. Now to do the same with this one. And you can go home. I'm not sure if this is a third bee or not, but come on. Where are you going? That's it. Home sweet home. Now I can pick this up and fly back myself as well. Here we are. Home sweet home. The bees can live right there. And I'd better see if I can find some flowers for them. I don't think there's any around here because... Yeah, Alpha didn't have flowers of Infdev or whatever. The, yeah, it was Infdev, wasn't it? Feels so long ago now. Here's some flowers and three creepers. Actually, I do need some gunpowder, so like... Oh, well, never mind. I feel like knocking back is only ever useful with creepers. <laughs> Everything else is like, eh, kind of annoying. Now to continue collecting me flowers. In hindsight, I could have just bone mailed the ground. And this should keep all of my bees nice and happy. And I am going to update to the nether update. You probably know what was in this update, you know, given the name of it. Also just realized I accidentally stole a bell, but I, I don't mind. But yeah, this update added so many cool things, such as new nether biomes. There's also piglins, striders, bastion remnants, nether gold ore. And so, so much more. So I don't really know what I fancy going for first, but I think Bastion might be the way. Already I've got hot tourist destinations. I've explored all the biomes. And I found a fortress, which, which isn't really what I was going for. And here we go. I finally found one. Now they are all going to be a bit angry with me because I've not got any gold armor on. And you know what? Okay, hold on. Just be careful, SB. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, jump down a day. But the good thing about this version is Piglin Brutes have not yet been added. I'm just going to dig underneath to get to these chests. Then I can get a golden piece of armor, frying obsidian. All the new items are very, very cool. And now that I'm one of them, I can just wander around. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is housing. It means loads of obsidian. Oh, we'll take those boots. I'd rather wear gold boots than a golden chest plate. And now I'm going in for the gold blocks. There's going to be quite a lot down here. There is some more in another part of the bastion, but to be honest, they're all kind of angry at me. I can hear them. Oh man, things are getting hairy here. I don't die now, SP. Oh no. Quick, move, move, move. Plenty of pressure on here. Everywhere I go, these piglins. Come on, SP, you got this. We got this. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're safe, we're safe. We're so safe. We've never been safer in my entire life. In fact, I'll go in this chest, I feel so safe. That's right, you guys stand on the magma. It's too painful for you. I'll get myself another totem. I don't know how I'm still alive, to be honest. Now for take two to run in on them. <laughs> get what's in this chest. Yeah, that's right. To be honest, they've all gone now. Yeah, they've all been taken out. There we go. Oh, and I forgot that you guys had that. I am going to fly on out of here and begin my next plan, which is to dig down. And I was going to say go searching for ancient debris, but hey, I've already got it. It did not take long to find at all. And so now the search continues. And I am also going to do a little bit of TNT blasting here and there, just because you never know. And look at that. It did work. This is the last of my TNT. And so now it's just back to strip mining. And now we're on 1.16.1, which was basically just a bug fix update. And that's two more pieces discovered, bringing me to a total of five. Look at that. Piece number six has been found. And we're also on version 1.16.2, which added <laughs> the piglin brutes. Yeah, all of a sudden, bastions aren't quite so easy. And they also changed some of the bartering stuff of how common things were. Enderpearls are now way less common, which makes this version kind of useless for speedrunning. Well, compared to 1.16.1 anyway. This pickaxe is also almost broken. I do have a second one here, so I shall use this to continue my mining. Piece number seven has been found, and I'm trying to dig around a basalt delta, but it's, it's, it's just never ending. Look at that, two more pieces. We're going to be up to nine now. If I could get 16 pieces for full netherite armor, that would be insane. Look at that, three more pieces here, and 1.16.3 is just basically a bug fix update, as are 0.4 and 0.5. Digging around the basalt, oh my goodness. I was going to say, digging around the basalt delta seems to have got me the most ancient debris. Like, every time I go a little bit in this direction, I hit it. So I just keep digging around it. And yeah, it's getting me loads and loads. And there's still quite a bit left of this pickaxe. So I might be able to get two more pieces and get the full netherite armor that I want. Looks like I've finally made it past the basalt delta. So I can mine closer and closer to my home. I've got two more pieces. Let's go. If I get any extras now, it'll just be a bonus. Although I've had an idea. I've got diamonds. I've got an anvil. Why don't we just go and put... Silk touch there. Yeah, look at that. We can fully repair both the pickaxes and carry on mining to my heart's content. And look at that. Straight away from repair. Okay, I want a bit of netherrack, please. But more or less, straight away, I've found more. I'm having some great success at the moment getting the ancient debris. Let's just keep going. Two more pieces right here. Piece number 20 and 21. I think if I get 24 pieces, I'll be pretty happy. That's full netherite armor 
and then maybe like a pickaxe and a sword. 32 or 36 pieces would be perfect, but I think that's probably a little bit out of reach. Piece number 23 and 24 and 25. With this, I'm getting, oh look at that, I'm gonna be on 27 pieces, that is perfect. 28, you know what? I think 28 is good enough for me. I'm gonna get out of here. And I'm straight into a fortress, that's, that's pretty crazy. Not that I really need one, let's just go ahead Equip my elytra and fly back home. Here we are. Home sweet home. And it's time to sleep so that we can get to 1.17. And this update added the amethyst geodes, the glow squids, copper. There's axolotls and goats in there. It really was a great update. And before we explore it, I'm just going to nip to the gold farm to heal up my elytra and get the levels to repair this pickaxe. And thanks to the 1.16 update, this gold farm actually works better than it has ever worked before. I'm happy with everything I've got. The ancient debris is not far off being done. So whilst I wait, I should get myself a smithing table. I can go right here. I can craft the rest of these ingots and apply it to all of my armor. Beautiful. <laughs> Don't look like a peasant anymore, do I? Whilst I'm here, let's also do add it to these three tools. Yeah, the shovel's a flimsy diamond one, but, but what can you do? And now I suppose we should explore all the new stuff in 1.17. And is that what I think it is? Yes, it is an amethyst geode. If I use this pickaxe, I should, yeah, get a few crystals. Eight's good enough for me. Let's get to the next version. This version has a bunch of tweaks. The only good one I can think of is that cauldrons now fill with powdered snow twice as fast. But I'm not worried about that because I'm on the hunt for, well, <laughs> I'm going to say on the hunt for copper. We've got it. Now, in this version, compared to like 1.18, you get loads of copper. Now, it's not too much in this version, but it's still, I mean, it's still got 44, which is good. That's probably enough for all of the things that I want to do. And whilst I'm in the area, I wouldn't mind just trying to find a few extra diamonds. Well, actually, that won't, well, I was going to say to repair my helmet, but <laughs> it's nether right now. I forgot diamonds are now for peasants. I'm not, I'm not bothering with all that. Instead, I'm going to attempt to find an axolotl, which can be found outside of Lush Caves in pre-1.18. Uh, yeah, pre-1.18. Let's go and grab you. Sorry about this squid, but I need a glowing sack, so... We're going to get that. And before I leave this bit, I think a few extra amethyst blocks could be nice. This looks like it's grown as well now, so we'll grab those and any of these ones. There we go, we got some from that. And let's get out of here. And look at this, my first ruined portal. Nothing particularly interesting in it, but hey, it's nice to find. Especially considering my old flint and steel is pretty much broken, so that can go in the chest and be replaced with a brand spanking new one. It's crazy how the area just does look so alpha when you, like, come back to the old chunks. Even though, like, the colours have changed a bit. There's no grass, which is the biggest thing. Like, there's bits of flowers, but it does look so different. Obviously, these horrible chunk borders are a, a bit of a nightmare. There's also some really cool mountain shapes in Alpha. And if this entire land hadn't been covered in snow and frozen over, then it would have looked very different. Now then, we need to have some sort of home for this little axolotl. And I'm also going to place a sign on my front door. Since this is SB's house, we'll go and do a glow ink sack. Look at that, very nice. Glow and behold the new sign, ladies and gentlemen. I can set the copper off smelting and i'm gonna quickly nip outside grab some more sand and get that smelting as well next we're on our way to 1.17.2 sorry guys i lied 1.17.2 doesn't exist no instead we are at 1.18 which is part two of the caves and cliffs update so the biggest question is is there still void below this glass because of course they've added new caves below everything but i think because there's no bedrock down here there might be nothingness Oh yes, look at this. It's just void down there. Am I like the first person to update an InfDev world up to 1.18? Because they only put caves below if there was bedrock there. If there's not bedrock, then there's no caves. So this is going to be interesting. I think I'm going to have a way to mine out into the void. And I also just need a little more cobblestone for this axolotl home. 47 should be enough. And yeah, 1.18 didn't add a bunch of new features really because they were all kind of added in 1.17. But it completely changed the world generation and there are brand new caves below the world, unless you made your world in InfDev. If you're a player that has had a world for that long and did suffer with this problem, then please say so in the comments because I would be very, very interested to hear if there's anybody that's had one for that long. Anyway, more importantly, Axlodl, you are now in your new home or cage or whatever you want to call it. And I might as well make some copper blocks. I don't really want to put too much new stuff on my house because I kind of want to keep it you know, nice and alpha -y. I think maybe just putting them in the wall behind me bed, that, that can't hurt, can it? Because this bedroom has basically had nothing done to it. It's just got a, an upside-down parrot up here. Another thing I need to do is grab a few different materials. I don't know why I grabbed a piece of coal. I've got loads. But yeah, grab a few different things. Then I can make a campfire, as well as glass bottles, and place it below the bees because I don't want to upset them when I harvest the honey. That's honey bottle one. I actually want to get a honey block, so I'm going to try and get a few more 
As time progresses, the bees are in spawn chunks, so they'll keep doing their, their thing whilst I'm not there. And I now need to try and find the board. Ah, well, <laughs> it's, it's hard to miss, isn't it? But yeah, I'm super curious. If I dig down, is there going to be caves here, but not on the other side? Am I going to be digging into the void? So many questions. I only have two fire rockets. Say what? If I give myself a few more fire rockets, even if I go into the void, I'll probably be okay. So right now we are at level three. And there's deep slate here. Okay, interesting. And void it. Oh, how cool does this look? I'm just going to dig out a decent sized hole. I'll grab a torch so there's a little bit of light. And what do you reckon, guys? Do we go for it? Let's check out the... Oh my goodness, this has to be the coolest thing ever. So... I can fly under this because there's, there was no bedrock in InfDev and I can see the side of the world. Look at this, I can just fly straight in. There's caves to the void. How cool is this? I kind of wish my 100 days world was like this. It would be so cool, but look at that. You can see the border. There's mine shafts. This is going to be a great way. Look at that. I have found a diamond. You know what? Let's get a diamond out of the void. Look at that. It is such a cool way. The new caves were implemented brilliantly. They work so well in old worlds. Except for the InfDev players. Yeah, anybody, if there's anybody else like me, let me know. Right, let's get these diamonds as well. Ooh, okay, you've got to be careful. I'm pretty good at landing with me Elytra and being alright, but you've still got to be steady. And it is just such a surreal experience seeing everything cut down. Wait, can I, can I make my render distance bigger? I'm going to put it on the maximum of 32. And I see two more diamonds over here. This is now the new best way to find diamonds, guys. Start a world on InfDev, upgrade it version by version... And you'll have a bedrockless world in uh, in the chunks that, yeah, you you went in in death. Look at that. If I stand right about here, or fly here, should I say, I can see the entire border. Oh, how cool is that? Wait, does that mean, can I fly below it as well? Yes, I can. I can go all the way down. Wait, is there a hole in bedrock? A random light patch that we have no idea why it's there. A oh, squid! No! <laughs> You've got to be careful falling out of this place. This really is just insane, though. Imagine if I was just going caving and I discovered it the hard way, but look at that. I can go straight into a massive cave. And I've said the new caves, they look amazing. I've, I've, I've been through a journey in this world, and to see it transform so much is so, so cool. But it looks like it's now time for 1.18.1. And the only thing this version added was making fog start further away so you can see further. Quite a nice little feature, but I'm, I'm flying back out into the void. I'm going to try and remember where my little hole was. I think I recognise the lush caves over here. Yep, here it is. Let's just fly into it. And I can fly on out. I tell you what, if you want a, a world that's going to have a perimeter, just make it an InfDev your world initially, and then you'll have, like, half as many chunks, and you won't have to remove any bedrock. That's an ingenious idea. I think if I ever make a new world, that's what I'm going to do, because then I could... Imagine the EOL farm I could build. What a discovery for the technical community that is. And I think now I wouldn't mind... Oh, where on earth are we? I've worked it out. I don't know why I went straight out, but I kind of want to check out the new cave biomes that got added as well, so... The lush caves were added in 1.18. This is a bit of a small one, but this is kind of where the axolotls are supposed to be. I think I'm going to bucket you up as well and, and take you to my friend. Is that a geode right there? And I wonder if I'm likely to find a dripstone cave doing this method. Because that's another of the things I haven't yet managed to find. Diamonds, on the other hand, easiest thing ever. No sign of it, but I do see more diamonds. And here is another lush cave with glowberries. So I think I just right-click those and you harvest them. I always used to think that punching them was the only way to harvest it. And some tropical fish. <laughs> I really, I really like that feature that you get tropical fish fish in caves. I know I've said that before, but I'm saying it again. I might as well grab some deep slate redstone and deep slate iron. I think I think a full clean sweep of all of the different ones are pretty good. Although I didn't pick those ones up, did I? Come on, let's get rid of some junk that we don't need. Deep slate copper as well. Don't mind if I do. Loads more diamonds in here. Maybe I'll make it a goal. A stack of deep slate diamond ore. How hard can it be? I'm just seeing them absolutely everywhere, especially when flying along the outside. Also tough. Yeah, that's a new feature in 1.18, isn't it? A little piece all the way down here. When they're the ones lower in the world, they've got to be a little bit careful. It's right above bedrock. The other thing I've got to remember is I actually have only two firework rockets remaining. So I can't do much more flying around here. You know what? I'm going to go into this cave and explore it. My time in the void world is coming to a close. And even just exploring the cave normally, there's still diamonds everywhere. We're going to sleep away till 1.18.2, which is another bug fix update. I wouldn't mind just trying to make a few more firework rockets from this, this measly amount. And then I can hopefully fly out of here. Well, I could do if there wasn't blocks in the way. <laughs> I nearly died there as well. I've got to be a little bit more careful. But yeah, I think it's time we track down a few new mountains. Before I go there, some more paper would be nice. Could keep me going for a little while. Next, a quick trip to the gold farm is in order. 
to mend up my elytra. This axolotl can join the other one in there. Another bit of honey can be obtained. And I can go out in search of the new mountains and <laughs> maybe one or two other things as well. Because that sun is not far from setting. And then we'll be exploring the update that isn't even out yet. 1.19. Another ruin portal with... One of these days I find a notch apple, but... I did get to craft them, so I can't really complain. We can also see the new world generation here. The mountains kind of look... <laughs> they look crazy. And the new... I think it's the rivers that are the best thing in 1.18. They're just so massive. No mountains just yet, but it, it's time to sleep. And here we are in the latest 1.19 snapshot, 22W15A. Since yesterday, we've now got the Warden. We've got tadpoles, frogs, and the LA. Plus some mangrove swamps, if I can find them. And a bizarre feature is that if a frog... It's a magma cube. You get a frog light, which I, I didn't even know <laughs> was like a thing until I was just reading the wiki now. So I reckon my priority right now is find a swamp. Well, not a swamp, but on the positive, I have discovered one of these new mountains. Pretty sure this is where you get snowier snow. Yeah, look. <laughs> guys, guys, I'm, I'm a little cold in here. Yeah, it's a little chilly. How do I even get out of here now? Yeah, it's a bit of a challenge. There we go. We're, I think we're all right. Maybe I should just fly on out of it. No, I am. I'm stuck in the ice. I'm going to die. That's it. I'm not messing about anymore. We're breaking all the snow. <laughs> it's really cold out here. All right, we're all right now. We're out of the snow. I think I'm safer to just keep exploring until I actually find a swamp. And a swamp has been found. Are these what I think they are? Come on. Oh, <laughs> I thought these were little frogs. They're stupid dead bushes. There we go. Hey, the same color though, guys. But here we go. The frogs. Look at you guys. Oh, look at the way they walk. They actually have a decent animation. <laughs> it's like the first thing that they jump around. This is yeah, it's the first Minecraft thing that doesn't doesn't have a derpy animation. They can oh look at this. Whoever designed these, give them a raise. Why is it pouring it down? And look at this, the swamp connects to a mangrove swamp. So these are the new mangrove trees. Wait, what what is this? What are these roots? Oh, I think they are, you know. Look at that. Mangrove roots. They look they look really cool. You can walk in and amongst them. Okay, and what is this block here then? Oh, it's mud! Oh yes, it's mud! Yes, the greatest thing ever had. Wait, what am I mining here then? Is this like... This is muddy mangrove roots. Oh, this is cool. This just makes me more and more excited for 1.19. Like, not only did they go out to improve the swamps, but they just made an entire new biome that looks amazing. I can kind of feel like I'm in some sort of jungle. Imagine exploring this and... Oh, look at this. These little seedlings. Okay, well, I just broke them. This is very... And I mean very cool. Now, what are these? Mangrove... Pro I don't know. Is, is that what... Oh, they grow into mangrove trees. It's a proper ghoul. I remember this on Minecon Live. Now it's all coming back to me. Absolutely fantastic. But there's not many frogs in here, is it? Do they need to be near water, maybe? Oh, look at the what? The colour of the water looks amazing. Oh, it's not horrible like a swamp and dirty. I am very, very impressed. And I'd love to find the LA, but that means finding a woodland mansion, which... Can I do it in time? Well, if anybody can do it, it's me. But to pull this off, we are going to need a village. Probably a few more firework rockets too. Operation Finder Village has been successful. Sorry to disturb you on this night, Mr. Cleric. But once I grab a little bit of wood, you are now a cartographer. And he's going to be wanting emeralds and glass panes. And I'll also need to be collecting up quite a bit of gunpowder. And not to mention, plenty of wood for sticks. Let's trade sticks to the Fletcher and more of them to this guy as well. You can have a bunch of emeralds. And I'll also set the sand to be smelting. Also, since I've run out of updates to upgrade to, day 100 is going to be on the same one as day 99. But that's not a problem because I kind of needed the extra time to get to the LA anyway. Time to cut it a little bit fine as to whether I'll get to the a LA or not. Don't ask how on earth he even got up here, by the way, guys. I'm going to quickly try and get 24 paper. Look what else I can do. Yes, an oak boat with a chest. Right, let's put all my... Oh, oh wait, how do I... How do, wait, how do you... Oh, so you... Wait, so you, you can get in it like that. And if you open your inventory, you know, aha, I see. Well, we'll put all of my sugar cane in there and... I've got my boat with a chest. Quite a nice feature. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but it would be handy storage in something like a void base. There are, mate, all the paper you could ever dream of. The glass is ready and waiting right here. So let's trade all of that. And I just need a compass and we can get the Woodland Explorer map. Of course, I, I didn't bring any redstone, which means digging down for it. And that is mission accomplished. Right, I need my other pickaxe, which I don't have with me, but... I can get it. Let's mine that. Grab the iron. Craft a compass. Trade the map from you. And get flying over to this mansion. We've, we've got about five minutes left. The sun is rising. It's still not technically day 101. And I am just about where the mansion is. Here we go. I've got about 60 seconds to find this LA. Okay, we're, we're just mining in. We're not messing about. I think this is it. Is this the right room? Have I just dug straight in? To where the LA is. Sadly, there wasn't one in there. What about in here? Guys, leave me alone. I'm, I'm just trying to do a breakout mission here. Come on, LA's. Yeah, it's now day 101. As usual, I've, I've gone over time. Stop trying to stop me from finding them. Yeah, I thought these prison cells were what would hold the LA. 
That, and apparently there's one here. Wait, aren't you meant to be in those cages? Either that's a glitch because we're in a snapshot, or I didn't see it and it got out. I have no idea, but yeah, here we have it. The LA. Now, I don't know if we can tame these guys. I think we have to put them on a lead and lure them home. And I don't actually have a lead, but can I give it an item? There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Give me back my shovel. I didn't mean to give you that. No. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, well, I guess it shows, you know, diamonds are for peasants and all that good stuff, but... Yeah, I would really appreciate it if you drop. Yeah. You know what? This is a dangerous, dangerous mob. I could kill you and get it back, but you know what? You've, you've earned it. And the next day has begun, guys. So that was 100 days in Minecraft, but it updates every day. What a blast that was.